Well, good day, D Live, and welcome back to the Gives a Minutes D Live stream for a Thursday afternoon affair. It has just gone, what is it, 22 minutes past 3 in the p.m. for me. Good morning, good afternoon, good day, good evening to you. Whatever the time it is, wherever you're consuming this content, you're always welcome right here on the Gives a Minutes D Live stream. Before we go too deep, I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check. I want to make certain that we're live. Also, I want to check audio. This is the, my main concern with HDMI. You never know if the audio is working, so it might be that I'm talking, but you're not hearing anything. Let me just check. Uh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you by checking. Um, do we have a stream? Do we have audio? Just let's just see. No, everything's good. Okay, that's good to know. That's a good start. Let me uh, talk to you. Where's my... Let me, tell, let me tell you what we're about to do. But let me just get a battery charge going here for my iPhone because uh, I'll need this for the chat throughout the stream. So we want to keep that charged up. And then I'll tell you how, well, I'll ask you all how you are and what we're, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Um, by the way, is that a little overexposed? That's a bit better. We're sitting next to a mountain bike trail, the Tiki Trail. You may hear them uh, hooking past. Uh, you may even see them hooking past on the side. Behind me, even further into the distance, you may be able to see just on the edge of this rise, you might be able to see the skyline gondola uh, going up and back down. Well, we're going to be riding on that gondola today up to the skyline gondola base area where they have a whole bunch of uh, exciting adventures. We're going to have a little look around. We're going to stick around till sunset. Um, we're going to see beautiful views of the Remarkables. This is the Remarkables, which you've seen plenty of times on my stream. It's over this way. It's going to look lovely as the sun sets. We've got a little cloud action. I've got a little cloud action in my nose. I'm a little, um, little under the weather right now, but it shouldn't stop me. It won't stop me, but I'm just feeling a little bunched up with um, sinuses. I've got to have, I have to uh, like block my uh, equalize a lot in this year. So if, if I sound a bit nasally, it's just because there's a lot of gunk up there. Um, to that effect, I do have a beer here, a stout, which we're gonna have at the top. But I am under a, well, I have signed a uh, contractor. So Skyline have given me access up for uh, FOC, free of charge, on their gondola and on their grounds to do this live stream. Thank you, uh, Will. But that does mean that, you know, you've got to follow their rules. And one of their rules is you can't be intoxicated on the premises. So I've got a beer. I'll plan on having this beer up there uh, at some point. I want to do a little hike around and go and have a look for like some cool areas. Like I want to show you the whole grounds and talk about it. But then I want to go for a little wander. There is an amazing hike up further, Ben Lohman Saddle, but we won't be doing that um, for two reasons. Number one, it's winter. Well, actually, it's spring right now. It's been spring for 16 days, 15 days. Um, yeah, it's spring right now, but it's still a lot of snow cover. In fact, the snow has been falling a fair amount. The last couple of days, well, not yesterday, day before and the day before, up at Coronet anyway, where I work, a lot of fresh snow, you know, good snow. Remarks the same. So uh, that rules out the Ben Lomond walk, categorically. You can't be doing that. I mean, you, I guess you could do it in the winter, but I can't, I won't, and also there won't be any 4G right up the top. So I've clarified that there is 4G at the base building or at the actual skyline premise, premises. Do you hear that? Oh, and it's, it... We just got a little willy-willy action. It's also quite windy. As you can tell. Um, I'm really hoping that that wind isn't gnarly up top. Where's it coming from? It's kind of coming from the west, isn't it? Wait, west is over there, yeah. Oh, I guess it's southwest. That's actually a good... That's a... Where... Let me just check exactly where that wind's coming from, because that could be a good sign for more snow if we're getting, like, stormy, windy weather. Where's my compass here? Uh, let me just pull up a compass and just verify where that wind did come from. Well, I got that kind of wrong. I thought west was that way. West is directly that way. That's directly south. So that wind came, that wind came from the south. Okay, that's even better. Where's the clouds moving? So they're coming from the south too. So yeah, I mean, we could be in for more cold weather. That'd be handy. 
Um, I'll also stop here and say if you're watching this content and you're not on DLive, so if you're not watching on the DLive.tv website or the app, um, I'm not seeing your chats, so I'm only looking at this one chat for this stream. You can be watching this elsewhere though, you can be watching it on YouTube or on Twitch or on Trovo or Facebook or wherever. I'm, I broadcast it everywhere and you can watch it there. This is all great, but if you, if you want to have a conversation with me, when I stop to con conversate, it's here on DLive. So come over to DLive.tv slash gives a minutes. That's uh, where this stream will live. Even though right now I look at DLive and I see zero uh, viewers, this is not um, this is not something I want to get into, but this is not unheard of. Wow, the blossoms are out too, the, the spring blossoms, the trees are blossoming, flowers are blooming, it looks, looks amazing. Winter, winter is over. So yeah, I can't even, um, oh, I see a follow there, Uranium Bong. Uranium Bong? With a follow on... Oh wait, is that an old follow? Star... Strife... Str See, I can't tell if these numbers are correct, but Strifecast. Are you here, man? Hey Gibbs, I like to watch your reruns here on the other side of the world. It's a great chill content. Thank you. Somersault. You went to the Somersault Festival back in the day in Canada. Okay. So you must... Yeah, you're watching a rerun. Um... Am I... I don't want to go too deep into what's going down on DLive right now, but obviously things are bad, the numbers are, are terrible. Um, oh, I'm going to repeat this as we go on the stream. If, if you want to have a conversation, come over to DLive.tv and find the Gives A Minute channel. Um, yeah, I'd, I would... I'm still promoting the site, even though the site is virtually non-existent. And you might think, why are you doing that? But this is also going onto YouTube, so this stream will exist after uh, after DLive completely disappears. This stream will always exist as a VOD on DLive, uh, on YouTube. Um, to that matter, I did search. See, what we're going to do, go up Skyline Gondola, only one other person has done it live. Everybody else makes a vlog. They'll go and come up to Queenstown and they'll go up the gondola and they'll explore and they'll go on the luge and all that kind of stuff and they'll just shoot a video and like clip it together for a 10 minute vlog. I I want to do it live because of the chat and so we can talk and showcase you the whole thing. But um, in this day and age with DLive, hey, by the way, that's still overexposed, isn't it? Yeah, in this day and age, as, D, as DLive does sort of dwindle off, um, I'm thinking, I'm just thinking for maximum engagement and for answering comments, maybe I should be looking at the YouTube chat. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm a stickler for... I want DLive to survive, but... Wow. It doesn't seem like that's going to happen. So it looks like Strife... Strife... I can't even say that handle. S-T-R-Y-F-E. Strifecast. Strifecast. It looks like you might be... Those chat comments might be from an older stream, possibly. Um, that's a shame if it is. If I'm talking to you and you're not even here, then thank you very much. I mean the num. I mean maybe I should refresh my uh, refresh my browser here and see if that's going to make a difference. Uh, there was a day when streaming. I got a text from Duncan. Huh. Sorry, I shouldn't read that right now. I was just got a little texty text. Um, now I've lost my train of thought. What was it? Something about D Live. No, nah, doesn't matter. Oh yeah, I, see, I was... Oh wow! Oh, crikey! I'm looking at the homepage. Hardly anyone's got views. Three views there, three views there. Oh no, there's one with 22. Okay, I thought, I thought maybe the site wasn't... Um, I thought maybe the metadata on the site wasn't working because I just saw a stream that had no views as well. Um, no, oh, okay, so I refresh and it still says zero. So that could just be a thing. I just have no viewers on DLive. Um, I'm not gonna go to the YouTube. I, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. Um, I wanna push this DLive. I really wanna push it, I wanna promote it. I wanna do the best I can to do that. So we're gonna go up Skyline Gondola. Uh, it's gonna be a live stream. Uh, I'm gonna take comments. We're gonna get to the top where it's gonna be colder. Uh, it's not cold right now. I haven't got my, I've got my jacket and 
I'm probably gonna put it on just because I know it's gonna be colder up there and then as the sun gets closer to setting. What time is sunset? I think it's about 6.40 or something. Let me just, because I think the, um, the premises closes at 7 p.m. So we're gonna, I guess we have the option. Do we wanna take the gondola back down or do we wanna walk down the Tiki Trail? Because there's, there's quite a standard walk back down off the hill. Um, maybe we'll do, you know what, I'll leave it up to you guys to decide. We'll definitely take the gondola up, right? I'm not cutting all my gear up on my back. We'll take the gondola up, but maybe we'll walk back down. We'll see, we'll see. I've got my hiking boots on, we're good to do. We're good to do that. Um, let me just check what time, I guess this will tell us, because if sunsets after they shut, then I kind of want to be up there. Have I got enough warm, yeah, I've got enough warm gear. Sunset tonight is at 6.33 p.m. So last light will be around half an hour after that. So that's probably gonna check out anyway. It's gonna be sunsetting at around about seven. It is just now 3.33. So in three hours time, we got, a, we got a lot of time up there, by the way. I think I might've given myself too much time. So I'm not gonna be um, partaking in the luge or the, uh, the adventures up there. There's, uh, this is where the para, I always wanna say parasail, parapent. This is where these guys jump from. Maybe we'll take a walk out there and have a look at that. Um, I just wanna, I, I wanna show you the grounds and so that you can familiarize yourself with what's up there for when you come. And then I wanna hang out up there for a while. Um, and maybe, maybe go off the grounds for a while onto a small hike and sit on a rock or something and get a spectacular view. But I guess I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of stalling for people to turn up here in the chat because I'm about to get on that gondola. And if we do end up walking down, I'll essentially have done this with no one asking. I, I was hoping there'd be people asking questions about this. That's all. Um, let me just bring this back up. Yeah, still no views. Okay. Um, now that is weird because usually it'll trip up to one viewer as me watching. Uh, it doesn't even say there's one viewer. Um, what should we do here? It, do we, I'm going to go and check YouTube. That's what I'm going to go. I'm going to go and check YouTube and make sure that that's working there. Because it could, it could be a... Um, no, it's not a restream thing. It can't be. Uh, let me go to my channel on YouTube. So there's one person watching on YouTube. Okay, and that's not me yet. I haven't actually clicked that button. So if I click that button... There's an ad. But I love the ads. Uh, Secret Beach. Hello, Secret Beach. Sheet. How you doing, man? You're, you are my only viewer. And I would urge you to go across to DLive to chat. But because there's nobody else over there, am I going to just say stay on the YouTube and I'll just chat with you there? DLive. Oh, you're... Hey, what's the DLive link? I'm watching. Okay, I'll, I'll give you the DLive link. Um... Johnson, Johnson's on DLive. There you are, Johnson. How you doing, buddy? Thanks, man. Um, can I grab this link from here, from DLive? My channel. Is there anybody out there? Oh, you're doing the... You're, I was going with, um... The presets? Prope not the prope Is there anybody out there feeling something? Um, where can I get the link from? Hey, Johnson, can you do me a solid? Can you put the link to this stream in the DLive chat? I'll copy it, then go and put the link in the YouTube chat. If you could, if you could do it in the DLive chat, I'll be able to copy it or do it on the YouTube chat. I'm essentially asking you to do the linkage, linkaging for me, if you don't mind. Back to YouTube. I'm trying to find you on DLive. Political Foolishness, hello, Political Foolishness on YouTube. I'm here, howdy, just dropping in to say hi. Hello, Political Foolishness, how you doing? Good to see you. Um, I'm trying to get this link together. Thank you, Johnson. Thank you, man. I see it there on the DLive. I'll copy that. Uh, where's that chat? I can't... Oh, you can't copy it? What? I can't copy that on DLive? Dude, I can't copy a chat message on DLive? Are you kidding me? I can't copy it. I can't tap and copy the... You tap and hold and it brings up Johnson's profile. What? 
Okay, but at least I can type it. It's just D... It, okay, so the link to the YouTube to the DLive is just like this. DLive... I'm just going to type it out. Dot .tv slash gives a minute. That should be a hyperlink, right? Nope, it's not. Awesome. <laughs> can I... Really? I can't grab a link out of the chat and I can't find the link to the stream anywhere? That doesn't seem right, dudes. Airplay to the f iPhone or my iPhone? Make a clip? Nope. That's full, well, that's full screen on the side. Don't want that. Damn, dudes. Um, that's a real shame. I cannot get a link to this stream anywhere here on DLive. But, and I can't tap Johnson's one. Wow. Okay, well, technicals, technicals aside, um, should we go on board the gondola and go on up? At least there'll be a better view for people when they do come in. Um, usually I spend about 20 minutes at the start of a stream sort of talking about the technicalities. Do you know what I should do? I should do one last... Um, you found it. Thank you, Secret Beach. You found it. So you, you came across to DLive. Okay, beautiful. I appreciate that, man. I'm going to um, just come back onto the DLive app. I just want to do uh, one last showcase of the tech the gear that I'm streaming with because I'm going to be sending this back to Teradek pretty soon. Because uh, I'm leaving you, I'm leaving. I'm going to say I'm leaving news. Hey, Pablo's in the house. Pablo, how you doing, man? G'day, Pablo. What I do? Uh, language warning: We are family friendly at the moment. Yeah, I'm leaving New Zealand uh, in about a month. So in a, I guess in a couple of weeks, I've got to start thinking about sending this gear back to Teradek. Let me show you what it is. Let me get that stout out of the way. I've got two of them, but we'll only be having one. So let me show you what I got here. And this gear is how I've been doing these live streams. This here is the Teradek Bond backpack. This is the company Teradek. This is the Bond backpack. It's a streaming backpack. It gives you enough storage space. How's the exposure there? It's a bit dark, isn't it? I'll just give you a little more exposure here. So it gives you enough storage space in here for, for batteries and whatnot. I got like enough zipped up storage in there for different power banks and batteries for my light and stickers and whatnot. Stream related paraphernalia. And then over here is where the meat of the action takes place. This here is the video go. This is the stream encoder, that this is what actually lets the stream... This is like your flux capacitor, if you like. This is what makes time travel possible. This here is a power bank for the, for the very camera that I'm recording on. These cables, this one HDMI cable comes into this camera, and a power bank comes into this camera from this power bank. But more importantly is under here as well. This is 4G. This is one 4G service. This is my uh, Vodafone service. I could actually just turn that screen off. Don't need to see it. That's one 4G service. The other 4G service is on this modem here. Can you see that? This modem here is uh, another modem, and this attaches directly to the Teradek Video Go. So there's two services. There's one in here, getting its own 4G signal here, and there's one in here. And these two signals bond together inside the Teradek video you go and that content gets sent up to the cloud and that's how I get redundancy with my stream so that that's how you get the best quality live IRL streams underneath here I've got a power bank uh, this is a, this one's actually a spare I'm not using it right now but underneath it is a bigger power bank with a little jerry-rigged little slot there just for that to sit in but that's powering the Teradek video you go from this guy and also my charge for my iPhone to keep the, the, the chat charged so this, this thing gets juiced for about two hours. Once it's on full juice, if this thing goes flat, then you've still got two more hours usage of that. Approximately, no, not, a, not two hours, about an hour and a bit. And all of that goes tightly together into the lovely Teradek Bond Video Backpack Streaming Extravaganza. And all of that gear is not mine. It's been loaned to me, where's my, um... Let me just put you back. 
put you back to uh, over here. Yeah, all of that gear is on loan from Teradec for this New Zealand trip. Oh, oh, that's not going to stay there. So, yeah, it was... Is that... Is that too dark? The idea of this was... <laughs> mountain bikes. The idea of this was to uh, use the gear and create streams. Uh, Teradec, thank you for supplying me with this gear. You've also got to have the service that bonds it together. That's called ShareLink. So I guess I'll be losing that as well at the end of this trip, but this has been fantastic. Normally in Australia, I have my own backpack and a different service. I use the LiveView Solo. Uh, that's a service which mimics this service, but they both kind of work this. I guess this is probably a good time to do a little wrap up of this gear. I feel like the Teradec gear is good, but there have been a number of times where there's been a, a problem which I can't diagnose. Such as, I've never had the video go not get audio from the camera, from the HDMI downpipe. Sometimes this thing, I'll be streaming and you guys will be like, your audio is out of sync or the audio is just not there. So there's an audio issue with the ingest through HDMI and I've never ever had that with the uh, Live View Solo back in Australia. So that's one thing. The, another thing that I found with this device is sometimes you'll be streaming and you won't have any idea, but you'll just look down and the, the device will just be not live. So there is buttons that you've got to press to stop the stream and you've got to press and hold in for three seconds for it to it's like a manual override and unless my the, the backpack has somehow inadvertently top tapped the button and held it in for three seconds to I don't know but it's happened to, too many times it's happened where I've looked in there and I've been like it says it says live right now by the way but I've looked in there and it hasn't said live and therefore the streams not live I don't know uh, again I've never had that with the uh, video go uh, the um, the live you solo so there are, there are certain, I guess, like intricacies with this device that I've discovered over the last, say, three or four months being here in New Zealand. Um, yeah, I, I, they're, they're easily, easily manageable, but they are to be noted. Um, I'm going to put this beer back in here. Where am I going to put it? And we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go on board the gondola and we will go up. I will chat, check the chat though. Hey, Keith in the house. G'day, Keith. How you doing, Keith James? Um, MTAG already. Well, I don't wanna ruin the reach here, uh, Pablo. You know what it's like already with DLive. The reach is already minimal. If I, if I go to MTAG, I'm gonna re, like really reduce that reach. Uh, where is that company located? So Teradec is US. So they're in the States. Um, Yamon. Is it obvious? Is what obvious? Is what obvious? What's, I've, I'm missing something. I was too busy ranting about the gear. But what, what were you asking was what obvious? But let's go on, let's go on, use the... Um, contractor pass and let's go up to skyline gondola are you really gonna make me behave Pablo at least until I crack a beer later on when we have to M tag uh, at this stage uh, it's difficult enough on DLive without having to M tag or, or push yourself further and further and further down the rankings I'm gonna put my jacket on though yeah I'm I'm feeling a, a little maybe I'm still feeling sick maybe I got a little bit of the sickness still lingering but I am feeling a little cold here. I'm gonna pack all this down. And we'll go ahead and go to the Skyline Gondola. If you wanna have a look at where we're going, you can go to uh, Skyline, just go and search Skyline Gondola in Google and you'll come up with um, Skyline Queenstown. You will. Oh, I've gotta put this away too. By the way, we're sitting in a cemetery. At the edge of a little cemetery. It must just be a little local time. Locals only cemetery. It's very, very little. Can 
trying to blow my nose too. Still blowing out a bunch of gunk here. Let me just clear my nose out. And uh, jack it on. Oh, he asked if I'm new to DLive. Oh, I asked if you. So, oh, so this is um, uh, Sweaty Beach. What, what was your YouTube handle? S Scary Beach? Secret Beach. This is Secret Beach. So your handle is Keith James on DLive. Okay, gotcha. Now, Benon, we all know you're a sick mofo. Major jackhammers in that cemetery. They're um, they're doing works over here. It's not to do with the cemetery though. They're not digging up digging up graves. But there is an awful amount of work going on in this town at the moment. works and whatnot going on in this town. Let's go. That's the dinosaur. Did you hear that big dinosaur? There's a lot of noise, there's a lot of noise going on. Okay, so we're good, we're good to roll out. How come my camera is on an angle? Hello, you little angle. Hendrix in the house! G'day Hendrick, how you doing man? Good to see you. I'm gonna stop the chat or I'm gonna not look at the chat for a bit. Um, although maybe I should keep it on. I'll keep it on for a bit. So we got a lovely view of Queenstown here, but we're gonna see much, 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 much better views. Let's go down via the cemetery. This is where we're going, into the base building here. We take a gondola up. I won't walk over a grave though, will I? I have the same noises in my street. Yeah, it's bad, is it Hendrik? I can go for you. Lots of street works going on in Queenstown right now. That's, by the way, that's where we were sitting, just up there. That's the end of the trail coming back down from the gondola. So that's the gondola where it's headed. That's the base building. That's a little overexposed, isn't it? It's gonna get, um, I just want to tell it's gonna get darker this. as we get into the base building though, so I might have to put it on, uh, Auto exposure. MD Wit with the diamonds. Much love. Well, thank you, MD Wit. Thank you very much. How are you doing? I haven't streamed for a while. I've been a little, little ill. Didn't stream. I didn't stream last week. Actually, that's that's the only time. That's a week off, I guess. So we're going to cut across here. Just a reminder, if you're watching this on YouTube and you're chatting, I'm not looking at the YouTube chat, I'm only looking at one, one DLive chat. So if you want to chat to us, come on over to DLive.tv slash gives a minute. But this is the uh, changes they're making. Some changes to the base building here. I guess this is, this is pretty cool that I'm here at this time actually, because this will serve as documented historical data of what this used to look like before it got changed. And this is it. I wonder if the logo is going to change.
Let us uh, enter. Oh, I'm going to I'm going to put this on auto. That's auto ISO. We'll go to auto here. Oh, that's better. Just so that you get the. So I'm already pre pre purchased. I'm good to go here. So we scan this on here. Bam! The bundle does not stop. Thanks. So you can mountain bike here, obviously, and that's a big part of uh, Queenstown activities. Uh, now it's spring as well. Lots of mountain biking. This is going to be my one. So, in a bid to make certain that this does work from inside here, I'm going to open up the, um, the windows when I get a chance. So that'll make certain that we do maintain connectivity because I'm feeling, I'm feeling trepidation about this, about the 4G working as we go up here, but we'll see. Uh, in the chat, Good to see you streaming. You've had more than a month off, Hendrik, from streaming, have you? Wow, that's a, that's a long time, dude. Pablo made a clip, thank you, Pablo. Yes, let's get clipping here, folks. This is what we're gonna be seeing as we leave here. Be nice to have another camera to do two, two cameras, right? Doors closing, I'll just put the window down here. And what we'll do, I'll probably turn this around so that you can see where we've come from. This is probably a better viewpoint, right? To see where we've come from. And we'll also change the exposure now because we're going to be hitting, we're going to be hitting into, um, light so I don't want I don't want the light to be oh that's auto my bad what am I looking at here ISO ISO crank it what am I doing put it down to 100 shutter speed you wally so this is what we're looking at from behind as we climb I kind of want you guys to see the um, the landscape of Queenstown as we climb the, the gondola here so in the distance you've seen it you, you know this over here right the remarkables you know that We've done a lot of streams from down here in the gardens. In fact, when we stream, I'm gonna come over this side. When we stream from that jetty, sometimes we do a stream from a little pier. It's just, there's one on this side and there's one on that side of the lake. Um, what else can I tell you as we climb here? So they are doing works down there. Oh, my house. Oh, you can't see it. It's just, my house is just around that corner. Um, so that's, yeah, that's a little, gondola's a little dirty on this side, but that's all right. Uh, so the windows, I got them down, and as we uh, climb up, you can see where we're headed upwards. A lot of um, reforestation or removal of trees. Uh, please don't ask me what they're doing in terms of the works. I'm not 100% certain myself, but I believe they're extending uh, the grounds up here or the capacity I think I don't know all I know is that this whole town is busy with activity there's a lot of work going on a lot of traffic cones in the chat I'm not a fan of heights MD weird okay well then this might not be for you I want to go higher Pablo then this is for you we are going to be going quite high 
Um, I hope you can see the distance we've traveled here from the base. There goes some people on the way back down. And you, I guess you can see the mountain bike trail here as well. Is that a mountain bike trail right there? It's a pretty old one. See you later. Is that a mountain bike trail? Oh yeah, there's this old gear and everything stored there. You probably couldn't see that, it's too dark, but uh, that's the view you want. A misconception here, a lot of a lot of tourists get it wrong and think that this is the snow area. This is where you go snow. Uh, I'm going to put you, I'm going to put you guys. Yeah, a lot of tourists get it wrong and think that you can ride your skis and snowboards up here. Uh, yes, it does snow up here, but it's, there's no ski field up top here. What's the highest point of this resort? Keith, that's a good question. Unfortunately, I do not have the answer to that. These guys are jackhammering away though. I don't know that information, dude. Um, I feel like I should know that, right? I should be able to give you that info, but I can't. Um, I'm sure that there'll be a board up there which we can read that'll tell us that. You're loving this, Pablo? Thank you, man. And I guess we should thank Skyline and thank Will at Skyline for uh, approving this, you know? Um, it's very kind of him. I want to showcase the best parts of this area like I have been doing with my streaming. Like, you've seen a lot of Coronet Peak, you've seen a lot of Queenstown, this whole area. Actually, that right there in that gap is where that jetty is that we sit at sometimes. So this is Kelvin Heights. We've streamed from the top of that. This is the end. This is the um, the golf course. We did a stream from just. Remember, we found Annie's chair. Remember that chair we found that was just there. So we've been up the top of Kelvin Heights. We've been we've done some snowboarding at the remarks. We, did a, we didn't do a stream because it didn't work, but we've done a lot of streams in Queenstown Gardens down here. Done a lot of streams down by the lake, right at Queenstown Front, Fergburger and Queenstown Hill up here. We've been up there streaming a lot. Yeah, I've, got, I've managed to show you guys a pretty good snapshot of Queenstown. Now here's a, a bungee jump if you wanted to go and jump off a tall area. Bungee jump there, AJ Hackett. You can do that if you're interested in lobbing yourself off a higher point with a little rope behind you. And here we come to the base building. And you'll see much of that in a moment. We've got the luge track here. We've got a little luge activity. You can run around on luges. And oh yeah, look, they're building a lot more up here. Yeah, wow, it's gonna be a huge, huge base building. I wonder if that's to get more um, capacity on the uh, on the gondola. We'll put this back to auto as we go into here. I'll keep that on, on auto. So, we're going to just take a little stroll around the, the area. I'm going to show you around, but that's the gondola right up. Thanks, buddy. So yeah, that's, that's your gondola right up, and we will get out of here and we'll take a little stroll around. I will ask you guys if you want to do the gondola down or do you want to walk down? It's up to you guys to decide, but I'm kind of thinking the, the night lights might be nice to walk down, but up to you. So where are we now? We're inside. So we've got a restaurant here. I'm gonna put this um I'm gonna put this away. Just give me a second to I gotta keep an eye, I gotta obviously return this. So I'm gonna put it in my zip pocket here. And I'm gonna show you um, all around as, as best as I can. Oh it doesn't fit in my pocket. I'm gonna force it in. Okay, it went in eventually. So we've got a theatre here, Moonlight Theatre. Oh, my phone. So we've got a theatre here. I guess this is where they show... We could, we could put my stream on the big screen. 
There's a big screen right there, look. Um, and I'm just gonna wander around and, oh wait, that's terribly exposed. I'm gonna wander around and um, just see if I can't make a nuisance of myself. This is a Stratosphere Skyline Bar and Restaurant. Let's have a little wander in here. Look at this beautiful, look at this beautiful wall here. Wow, I love this spot. I kind of want to sit here. I want to sit here for a bit. I mean, if it was freezing cold outside, this would be a great spot just to sit. I thought that might have been a fire pit. Look at this beautiful um, lighting here. That looks wonderful. But maybe we'll come back in here and sit. Maybe I'll have a drink in here. It's, it's cozy in here. Look at this beautiful fireplace. Oh yeah, look. So we got lovely views from here. Uh, I'll just give you a bit better exposure. We've got gondolas leaving. We've got gondolas returning. What a spectacular viewpoint. So I'll just get you a little, little shot of a gondola coming up. That'll be a nice, nice shot to have, right? Coming into the base building. Here comes one right now. So these guys are uh, mountain biking. And those guys are going down. Hello, goodbye, hello, goodbye. Lovely. Back to the bar area. Just put your down to the exposure we correctly want. I uh, should also check as we're in here, should keep an eye on the 4G too, because sometimes when you go indoors, 4G says no. So let me just check. Let me just check the 4G is still good. I think I want to get a smaller phone. Smaller phone for the win. It's too big to like do one-handed streaming and chat tapping and checking. Okay, so everything's still being fine. Back away from the window, go to the bar. I mean, so I have signed a, an agreement to not get, in, not get intoxicated, but that's, you can't get intoxicated off one drink, right? But I plan on having a beer outside as well. Stream is solid, no drops. Okay, cool. Well, should we, should we take a drink here? Um, I, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna definitely do it in that beautiful light lit up area because I just think it looks wonderful. Um, I, I guess I'll just confirm that, I mean, there's the bar, Stratosphere Skyline. Pale ale. We could we could sit here with that view behind us, or oh, I love that lighting over there. I really want to hit that lighting. <laughs> Who did you sign an agreement not to drink with? So as a as a contractor to come up here. Uh, and do this live stream, I signed an agreement with Skyline. Um, but that's not, no, I didn't, I didn't sign an agreement to not drink, I signed an agreement to not be intoxicated while on premises. So you're not gonna get blind drunk. Like, I'm not, and that was not my plan anyway. So you're definitely allowed to have a drink. Like that, that's, that's the whole idea of coming up here to experience this, the, to experience the area. And that includes having a, a beverage, right? Um, we got black beer. Yeah. I'll grab a beer. I'll grab a beer here. It's too nice not to, right? First place we've seen. We haven't even been outside. Oh, you can see the wind coming in. Up the wakatipu. Just wait while I'm just 
people are booking a table for dinner. Well, while we wait, we can enjoy the view, right? Well, I can. You, you want to see the view? I'll show you the view again. <coughs> it's very beautiful from up here. There goes the TSS Ernslaw. This boat goes all the way down here uh, and parks up. Beautiful. Well, we'll come back in here. Only one person serving. That's why it's taken a while. And someone jumped in front of me as well. That's all right. Yeah, it's not, it's, it's, it's just, they just don't want contractors up here that are just walking around drunk, right? Duncan sent me a message. Duncan, if you're watching, start, start, start chatting in the chat instead of sending me, you're sending me, does it cost, mess, does it cost more to send an MMS internationally? It doesn't cost me any more to receive them, I know that, but if I replied to it, it would. Should have packed a few in the backpack instead. I have, I have a beer in my backpack. This place is nice. Do they have any food? Yeah, they got a, they got a restaurant. <coughs> That's what's happening now. Someone's booking in for the restaurant tonight. I bet the drinks are quite pricey there. Well, considering this is a free, uh, a free gondola, then I almost feel like I'm obliged to buy a drink, right? I've got the, I got the gondola right up, which I guess would be about forty. It's going to be 40 bucks, right? I didn't even look at the prices. What's the, what's the return gondola trip at Skyline? Probably it's going to be at least 40 bucks. So at this point, I feel like I should buy a drink, contribute to the, to the place. But it is taking an awful long time. And I'm quite warm. I put my jacket on thinking we'd be outside. I guess I'll just put this down here. Oh, music. What was I thinking? There's music as well. I forgot about the commercial music. I've already been dinged for that. Oh, the speaker's here too. Commercial music, the bane of a live streamer.
hospital guys out there. Hey, can I please order a uh, pint of Monteith's Black? That's all, thanks. Yeah, live streaming. Do you want to be on it? <laughs> you, she, she doesn't want to be on it. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, I've got twenty thousand or twenty-four thousand on YouTube, and yeah, nine, nine thousand on um, D Live. And I got a beautiful, beautiful big beer here. Look at this, folks. Thank you for filling that up too. Mm. I'm okay to sit in that little area with those funky lights. <laughs> Love this area. Let's go over there. We're going to go outside later, so. All right, folks. I kind of want to get. I almost want to get my um, get my own light out and light my. F this this is just such, such a beautiful spot for lighting. So if I stand, oh no, you got to There's heaps of light on my face. Oh, and there's bench. There's chairs to you, here as well. So, give me a second. This is going to be perfect. I got a stool. I'm going to grab a stool and we're going to sit here and drink a beer in this wonderful place. You, you might say, hold on a sec, dude. Did you go up Skyline Gondola and sit inside? Well, when there's such a beautiful space like this, and a stool to sit on. I'm gonna use it. It's just such a nice room. Also, it give me a chance to get my chat out and also charge the phone batteries for a bit and probably go to the bathroom at some point. Yes. Ah, oh. two things. I need to M tag and I need to activate my free hour of data on two degrees. So let me do the M tagging first. Let's go to here. Uh, oh, I've got rid of this. Uh, does not have it as a bookmark? Nope. I guess I could just type it in, right? It's just D live. Live dashboard. Live dashboard, that's it. I've got to agree to the terms again. Every time you go in here, you got to do that. Kind of sounds a little bit, a little bit Powderfinger-esque. It's asking me to log in here. I didn't log out though. God bless d -Live. Log in, log out, log in, log out.
country. Ooh, that's a big call. I'd, I'd consider Powderfinger to be country rock, hey? Ooh, Hendrik. Them's fighting words. Cheers, you wanker. What does MTAG do? Mature tag allows uh, the p consumption of alcohol on stream. You can't, you can't drink on stream unless your mature audience is tagged. There's a bathroom right there. I gotta blow my nose. I, I haven't gotta take a whiz yet, but I definitely gotta blow my nose. I've got all this um, gunk lining my nose at the moment. Can, you, can I just go and blow it? I'll be back, I'll be back. I'm just going over here. You know when you have a, you know when you, oh hey there's a camera right here, Peter, Peter. Yeah, you know when you've got a cold and you're still clearing out all the residue, that's what's going on now. I've, I've had a cold and it's just clearing it all out of my sinuses. I will not clip this. Can someone clip this? This is beautiful, look at this light. Forget this, just look at the light. Clip that, cheeses and clipses and all the other clips and goods and, this is beautiful up here. We should put um, uh, Moak Lake on this big screen. 24 set, tw uh, 12 hour 4K live stream uh, vlog. Pablo made a clip. Thank you, Pablano Pablina. Appreciate you, dude. So while we're here, and I didn't expect to be sitting indoors, I didn't expect this to be so wonderful or so beautiful up here, so I thought we'd be outside. We will get out there soon though. Um, has everybody enjoyed their New Zealand experience? It's been about, it's, well, it'll be six months all told when I, when I leave. It's five months in now. Has everybody enjoyed this content from here? Um, it's, it's been a, um, it's been a great experience for me. Um, a couple of things that... Actually, maybe we should... I'm still here, yet I'm thinking about it as if I've already left. So maybe we should hold off on this conversation until I do get back to Australia. And we'll do, we'll do a debrief from Crookhaven Heads on the blue bench. Hendrik, you know the spot. And we'll do a debrief from there. Because right now I should still lap this up while I'm sitting here in, in it, right? But it's been very good. Thank you, MD Wit. Thank you. So, do you do seasonal work, dude? Uh, Keith, um, no, not typically. I did, I did do seasonal work for this winter, um, but the idea was... So, I used to live here. Um, uh, spoiler alert, I used to work... How do I phrase this? I worked here at Skyline Gondola as a gondola operator for about... Man, I'd forgotten even I did that. I'd, must have only been two or three weeks at the end of this in 2000 the year 2000 I lived in this town and I worked in a restaurant called Roaring Megs and then at the end of something Blair that's what happened Blair came back Blair I haven't seen him this time but he does still he does still exist in Queenstown he's the guy that was working at Roaring Megs before I got there and I essentially took his spot because he bailed him went up north. And then he came back. And I remember I lost shifts at Roaring Megs near the end, near the end of the stay in, in Queenstown. I lost work. 
uh, hours. And so I got another job. And the job I got was here, operating the gondola. I'd forgotten entirely about that. That's bizarre. But yeah, and, and I wanted to come back to Queenstown for, for the last 20 years I've been saying, I've got to get back to Queenstown. I want to come back and see. And it's taken me this long to just go, well, go over and do it, man. Like, just get a plane over there and get a job, get a house and go. So I did. That's what I've been doing here. I've been working as a shuttle driver for NZ Ski up at Coronet Peak. Been fantastic. There's a little hiccup. I'm not going to explain it, but there has been a hiccup. Um, a little bit of the sheen has been taken off from the job. Um, yeah, I still kind of fresh that it just it just happened just recently. It's my fault, um, but something happened. And I, I guess I'll ask me again when we get back to Australia and I'll talk about it. But it's still kind of still lingering this this thing that happened. It's still yeah, it's a bit of it's a bit of a shame, bit of a shame. But whatever. Yeah, it's on me anyway, but it's just unfortunate. I saw your stream on your birthday, Keith. My birthday stream. I didn't do a birthday stream. Did I? I don't think I did. I didn't do a birthday stream. What? Who, whose birthday? Somebody else streamed on my birthday? They're not allowed to do that. Clip twinsies, we got this. Did you guys both do clips? Cool, thank you. Appreciate that. Oh my, but oh, you mean, okay, so that wasn't the stream, but that was a, uh, okay, so you're talking about my YouTube story on my birthday when they sang to me in the bus. Yeah, yeah, that was cool, man. That was so cool. I forgot to equalize coming up on the gondola and my uh, ear just popped. Yeah, so that, so I did a live stream from the job, but that wasn't my birthday. That live stream was just like a, this is like an 11 hour shift of this is what you will encounter if you do a, um, if you take the job as a shuttle bus driver for NZ Ski, this is what you can expect. This is what's expected of you. And this is how the job looks throughout the whole day. That was the point behind that stream. Um, but the thing you're referring to was just a regular YouTube story when the bus sang to me on my birthday. That was sweet. Yeah, that was cool. Good times. Oh, gee. Really nice beer. Wouldn't this be a rad location for like a conference? Oh, Creaticon, right? Like imagine the dudes were sitting around here and we just had a camera up and that was the backdrop. That looks amazing. Hendrik, nothing that can't be overcome, Ben. It'll all be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Hendrik, I'll, um, I'll definitely talk about it and we'll, we'll debrief about it later on. But while I'm still here, it's just a, it's the, the thing that happened is bad on my behalf. Like I, I fucked it. I messed it up and it's now taken a little bit of the shine off. It's not irrecoverable. Irre what's the word? It's not like, yeah, it's just, now we're talking about it. <laughs> it's just, um, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. And, and how it got to it is even w w stranger. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll debrief. Uh, what brew are you drinking? So this is a Monteith's Black. Monteith, it's a Kiwi brew. I've had it before, it's, it's good. And when, and by the way, when this thing happened, which I'm not going to talk about, <laughs> um, I said to myself, when it, when it unfolded, I said to myself, okay, there's the bad. Up until then, we've only seen the good of, of the job and of the, the, the situation that I willingly put myself in. So I willingly came here and, and I willingly took the job. Like I'm, I've, you know, it's, it's, it's my decision to do what I did and I've seen good, all good, and now I've seen a small bad. And you always gotta have both, right? Like there's good and bad and 
it's not un it's not untoward to expect that it's not always going to be rosy. Um, I know what happened. Any reasonable person would say it's all good. Oh, actually, no. That's so you're you're referring to the yeah, that's not it. <laughs> that's not it, Hendrik. Um, yeah, that's not it at all. Well, well, actually, hold on a second. It dovetails into that, but that's not what I'm talking about. But yeah. Uh, Keith, dude, last week I was looking for a snorkel mask and now you're on my channel? So you came to my channel because of snorkel mask reviews and now you're here? The keyword is reasonable. Yeah, so I'm not referring to that. Like, that's not, that's not what I'm referring to. Even though that does play, that does factor into it, but that's not what I was referring to. Um, I'll explain how that ties in though. It's, it does, it does tie together, but... Oh shit, yeah, yeah, so... Yeah, and definitely, definitely what you were saying, if you were thinking that was the situation, yeah, I completely agree with you, but it's something different to that. Yeah. Yeah, but that, that didn't help, I've got to tell you, that, that added on to it. It all piled on at the same time is what I'm, what I'm saying. So it went from bad to really bad, really quickly. Um, but it's not, what's, what's the word I'm trying to fumble with? It's not unrecoverable it's not irrecoverable irrecoverable that's the word you can recover from it it's not that it's not that bad yeah uh, fascinating how sailing surfing and flying very similar feel sailing surfing and flying Sailing, surfing, and flying. What about, you mean flying in, an, in a plane, like an, in a big plane, like a, like a jumbo or something? In your opinion, it's the same feel? Sur surfing and flying. I don't think I've ever compared those two to be the same. Unforgivable. Unforgivable? So... Apologies have already been made and accepted, so therefore forgiveness is not required. Um, but what I meant was, it's not like you can't get past it. You can't. It's not unsurmountable. Unsurmountable is the word. That's the word. That's the word I had in my head the whole time. It's not unsurmountable. Uh, do you need to work at the sandwich bar again? Oh, at Bespoke. No, I actually went in and told those guys um, that I won't be uh, coming back because of the way the season got extended. And then there's also another, work, another week of yard work, uh, deep cleaning the buses. Uh, so I've got enough work to get me through till departure. Very, in fact, probably too much. Um, but I did go into Bespoke and uh, it was kind of, I was, I felt bad because I really want to work there again. They're really cool people. Menu was great. I loved learning their food. And yeah, I'm not going to go. I went back in and it was really cool to see everybody. And But yeah, I just don't have the time to go back and work there. Can I order a club sandwich? <laughs> Extra bacon. Yeah. Yeah, that's a shame. I could do a full stream from Bespoke, that'd be fun. Deep clean, you say? Sounds kind of, um, a deep clean is like um, all the things have to be cleaned for the bus. Like We do a clean every day of the bus uh, at the end of the shift, but they're talking about like, I guess they're parking them up for the, for the summer and they got to sit in the yard for six months or whatever. Never mind. No, I purposely didn't go there, Pablo. I'm trying to keep this above board here, right? I know where I'm tagged, but I still want to have a, like even just this a tiniest little sliver of like uh, respectability, Pablano. I know it's difficult with you. I know it can be very difficult with you. I'm still all blocked up in this ear though. Like, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can, I can feel this sinusy gunk at the back there. And yeah, it's not pleasant. So what's next work-wise? So I'll go back to Australia and I'll be creating content for uh, surfing and basically going back to what I did before, which is relying on social media 
and my social uh, output as an income source. Um, now I know some people find that ridiculous and I get threatened and I get hated on for doing that. I found that interesting, right? I found that interesting that a certain somebody, we'll, we'll leave them nameless, but a certain somebody commented on a video of mine saying, you know, something to the effect of um, like, well done returning to the workforce and, and contributing your bit to society. And, and, and it, it's good to see. And like the, the gist of the message was because I am now working full time, I'm somehow now more of a better person in their eyes and therefore they can watch my content and they can engage with me because of my decision to, to take a job for, for the six months that I'm here, that makes me a better person. Whereas, le let me just pitch this this way. Imagine I had like, imagine I had an endless supply of money. Imagine like Hex or Bitcoin or whatever it was paid off epically and I didn't need to work. I would still come here and do what I've done for six months and not have to take a job to sustain myself. Would that change the person I am though? Like that wouldn't change me, but I'm still like, the point I'm making is that this person came back onto my content based solely up upon the fact that I was working full time. And I was like, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. If you like my content, it shouldn't matter how I sustain myself to create that content. Whether I've got to work full time, whether I've got to work part time, whether I have an investment property in Adelaide that pays me to do the content, whether I have endorsements, whether I have paid uh, snorkel mask content, whether I have cryptocurrency. It shouldn't matter where I get my income from. That's none of your business to start with, but it do definitely doesn't determine the person I am. It's got nothing to do with it. The content's still the content. So I found that ridiculous, but I know it can be a touchy subject. I can't believe you make money making videos. I mean, yeah, how much money? It's arguably might not be manageable, right? It's changing a lot. Danny? Danny Black? Is that, are you talking about Danny? No, it's not Danny. I'm not talking about Danny Black. The GoPro King. Oh, he'll have a GoPro Hero, Hero 11 video. We should watch it. Oh, we can't do it. I want to watch... What date is it? It's the hero, it's the 15th. The Hero 11's out, isn't it? What's the, he I'm gonna find out. I, I could, well, hang on. Is it better to ask the chat? I'm gonna ask the chat. What's the Hero 11? What's the specs on the Hero 11? Cause the Hero 11 com comes out 14th? Yesterday. I genuinely haven't seen it. I haven't bothered. I haven't, I haven't had time. I've just worked 12 hours, five days and then stuff popped off but the GoPro Hero 11 so what did that what were the rumors the rumors were um, higher bitrate bigger fr uh, bigger sensor bigger sensor was always a rumor and a higher frame rate so I'm gonna go with could they have got a one inch sensor in there Ooh, is it a bigger machine they wouldn't do that though because that rules out all the other accessories media mods and whatnot I'm I'm thinking if they've got a one inch sensor in the GoPro and it's still the same form, fo uh, form factor, that's rad. And a higher bit rate. Yeah. Um, Danny managed to get an NDA Hero 11 before release. Oh, nice. So he's on, he's on the flow from GoPro. That's rad. That's rad. I mean, that was his goal, right? And, and round of applause for Danny. Uh, got, I called it ages ago, the GoPro King, right? Yeah, so he got on, he got on. And then, okay, here comes the uh, cynical side of me. There's another GoPro he can not use. I mean, use it? Or is it just for the review? And then it gets shelved, you know? Like, if they've got a one inch sensor and, a, and like a huge bit rate, like 160 or something, 190, then I'll upgrade and it'll be for my surfing content, but. Me thinks Keith knows more than he's letting on. Is, is Keith possibly someone in incognito? Bitrate is 120, ooh. Okay, 
Okay. This is get, it's, this is getting better. Um, they should. I'm talking a bit loud here for being in a public place. They should. Uh, bit rate's good. So, is there a one inch sensor? Tell me, there's a one inch sensor. If there is, I'll order. I'll get one straight away because that's going to give you uh, way better pixel reproduction at all resolutions. Even the lousy, like even 1080, will look better at, at, a, at a one inch sensor. Um, and then you then you're looking at f basically full frame field of view like 35 mil is 35 mil that'd be rad i guess that's not exactly true depending on the lens that they have on it but yeah interesting uh what about frame rates hendrik what are the frame rates i think the first video i watched of gives there was a bit of Danny Rant convo going on. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that would have been, gee, that would have been 2019, 2019, 20, 2018, 2019. Lots of GoPro sitting on the shelves, dust getting dusty, yeah. <clears throat> My take on it's always been like, if you're going to make specific content like that, if you're going to niche down, so to speak, then you're going to have to be willing to do that from there on in. Like Danny is the GoPro king. And if all he wants to do is make Go GoPro content, you've got like a window of maybe a month leading up to September and then the September release. And then after that, you've got a good two months of content and you can just recycle it over and over again, year in, year out. Top 10 tricks for GoPros. How to get the most out of your GoPro. Best audio settings for GoPro. Uh, best snapshot settings for GoPro. Uh, how to shoot Instagram vertical videos on a GoPro. How to shoot uh, time lapses on night time lapses. How to shoot long exposures. All these are things can be just repeated year in, year out with every GoPro model. And if Danny was smart, which I believe he is, he would have a chart of all the videos he's got lined up and all you gotta do is change the heading from GoPro 11 to next year, GoPro 12, and then GoPro 13. But my point, I wouldn't want to do that as my channel. Like that's not content. That's, like I love tech, but if that's all I did, heck no. I wanna use the tech. Like I'm already thinking, do I, do I get the Hero 11 and use it here? We've already tried that a few times and I'm not really impressed with it. I'm still sticking with the GH5, but. Yeah, interesting. But congratulations if Danny's watching uh, under a pseudonym. Congratulations on getting on the flow from GoPro. Apologies, a bit of phlegm just did a little flappity flap from the back to the front, <laughs> just caught me unaware. Congratulations on getting on the flow from GoPro. Um, you wanted it, you got it. That's, that in itself is commendable to go, from, to go from nothing to where you are. Awesome dude, commendable. So I was gonna say we should get out of here, but I don't wanna rush this beer, but we are at that afternoon. Actually, no, we're, we're at a good time here. The afternoon light is perfect. I got this gunk right at the back of my sinuses. By the way, hey Will, if Will's watching this, um, come down and say good day if you're still on the premises. What time is it on a Thursday afternoon? It's 20 to five. Yeah, Will, uh, maybe I should put an email out to him. No, but you'd be, if, if you were watching, you'd know. Will, I'm in the bar with the funky lighting. Come down and say good day. Oh, well, he might not want to go on stream. Forget that, forget that. Five K at sixty, four K at one twenty. Ooh, ooh, hang on a second. Isn't that the same? Four K one twenty already existed. Five point three K at sixty might not have, but 
So they haven't gone 4K at 240? 2.27K at 240. I feel like, Henrik, I feel like those frame rates were in the Hero 10. That's a bit of a shame. I mean, not that you need it, but I guess I was would have thought that maybe... Although 2.7 at 240 is pretty rad, because then you can use the max lens mod, and then you can get totally wide, horizontally stabilized 240, slowed down at surfing, and when you finally get into that barrel, which will happen this summer, hopefully. Actually, how, will I'm, how am I gonna go surfing again? I've done so much. Dude, the snowboarding yesterday, yesterday and the day before, wow. Perfect powder lines. Oh my goodness, it was so good. Um, just out of comparison, when I talked about hiking up from Sarasu and doing Car Park 7, I, I talked about this on a stream where I took this pretty gnarly hike, a little bit avalanche risky. I did tell um, Lifty my intentions and then I told them when I got back that I'd made it everything safe, but it was a little bit touch and go. I did that, this hike took probably, I don't know, 40 minutes to get across. And then I had fresh lines all the way down to Car Park 7, which probably would have been about maybe three minutes of riding, like three minutes of straight down powder, all the way down to Car Park 7, which was so rad. That was amazing. Well, to put, that in, put it in perspective, the last two days, I had that, that amount of powder and that amount of lines easily 10x easily 10 times and all of it accessed from chairs so no hiking needed all of it from from the chair the snow fell and for some reason there was nobody up on the hill like there was what day is today thursday wednesday tuesday was so quiet at coronet peak and there was fresh snow like there were wind blown pockets of powder up to my knee to the point where you could hit it and you'd carve into it and you wouldn't hear the scrape of the ice underneath some parts you'd hear the ice scrape but there were deep pockets of powder and nobody up there we didn't even fill up car park three we didn't even finish car park three normally we're into car park four we didn't even fill up three on that day it was unbelievable so yeah i've in terms of snowboarding i didn't expect to get that good riding and my intention wasn't really to do a great deal of boarding i still love it it's great fun but i'm no longer young so i knew that i wouldn't spend all of this trip snowboarding arguably i should have been up to, on my day off at the remarkables i mean there's been snow right but i didn't go i just just not that charged by it not that enthusiastic about it but to get the good stuff that I did was like, wow, that really checked off uh, a check mark. Been really, really, really good. And this fresh snow that's just fallen has given uh, a little bit more of a, um, like they already extended the season out to another week, but this is like almost ensuring that happens because there's, there's still a lot of snow coverage up there. Uh, Pablo, so Benon, am I on the last of the, am I, oh, you're on, you are on the last of the Pappy Van Winkle. Oh, wow, man. Wow, I'm sorry to hear that that's, uh, that's gone. Cheers, yeah, well, cheers to that, Pablo. I hope you enjoy that expensive whiskey. Yo, Jason, how you doing, man? Hey, gives and givers. Jason, how you going, man? I'll give you a cheers, too. Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, uh, my intention was to try to find an expensive bottle of whiskey uh, incoming duty-free back into Sydney, but I didn't. Instead, I found some Jack Daniels, which is only, used to only be available in Germany, of, of all places. German, it's called the Traveler's Select. Not Tennessee Tasters, Traveler's Select. I got, I got two of each. Picked up, pick up in Sydney on arrival. My TV bit the dust. Oh, that's no good. Sorry to hear that. Did it actually fall off the wall and, and literally bite the dust or is it just kaput? 
We should get out of here, folks. Uh, the sunlight is sort of getting into that afternoon vibe, and um, I want to show you around. We've, we've only, we, we literally only came in here because it was the first thing we saw, but we got to explore the grounds and show you around. I'm going to go back to that bathroom. I'm going to blow my whole head off with this gunk out of my crap. I'm going to go to the bathroom, take a slash. And then we'll come back and get out of here. How much higher are we going? Uh, not very much higher, Pablo. This, this is the, like I'll take a little hike, a little walk around, but we're not going, we're not going to Ben Lomond, right? If you go and search Skyline Gondola and look at walks, you'll find the Ben, go, uh, the Ben, yeah, I was gonna say the Ben Gondola. You'll find the Ben Lomond Saddle and then the Ben Lomond uh, Summit. These are out of limits for today, obviously. I gotta go and blow this head off. I'll be back in a moment. Someone do me a solid though. Find the elevation where we are right now. The elevation in meters, none of this feet crap. I want meters. Elevation of Skyline Gondola. I'll come back with a fresh head in a second. All right, do we get the elevation? 450 meters above the lake. Okay, interesting. So that lake is 330. So that puts it almost at a thousand meters above sea level. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. All right. In that case, should we go outside? I'll just polish this off. Let's go outside and explore. I'll just put this stool back. Okay, so. So a thousand meters or 3000 feet. Thank you, Pablo, for giving both metric and imperial. Appreciate you. Let us depart here. <laughs> C 
seems higher. It must be steep cliffs. Yeah, it was a, it was a pretty quick um, ascent. I, don't, I guess you probably didn't really, you probably couldn't really tell that from when we were in the gondola, but it, it was quite a vertical, vertical climb. Uh, let me just put this over here. So I'm going to turn the chat off here for a while and I'll just walk around and, and showcase some things to you. And uh, when we get to a spot where we might stop up, I'll get back to the chat. But as it stands right now, uh, we're going to depart here from the restaurant. And this is where we came in. And so this is where we're going to exit. Let me just give you some... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Other way around. <laughs> you didn't see that, but that was pretty funny. So we got a viewing deck and the luge up here. Oh, <laughs> sorry, dude. I didn't even see it. Just kick the little kid's cut. So here we have the luge viewing deck. What's this? Press your own. Press your own skyline pennies. There you go. I don't think that'll be there for too much longer because no one carries actual money around, do they? Um, so this is the deck. Wait a sec, should we go out here? I'm trying to, I'm try I want to show you everything. So first of all, we'll stay in, we'll stay indoors. Got a little uh, gift shop here. Look, speaking of GoPros. That's two cycles ago. But yeah, you got tourists here, tourist, uh, many tourist items to be purchased. If you want to, maybe you're, uh, maybe you need a hat, maybe you need a new face. What are you looking at? And look at me with those eyes. He hasn't any eyes. Look, the eyeless mannequin. So yeah, basically, uh, this is to be expected, I suppose, like a tourist shop. Um, do you want to go all the way in? I don't really want to go all the way in. I guess I'll go in and show you. We'll go all the way in. I guess I could, uh, I need a new hat. Always need sunglasses, that's for certain. Multi-tool. That's something that I could use. So there's your tourist, uh, there's your uh, trinkets. What's over there? Oh, we came through that way. Cafe here. That's a lot of jelly beans. There, that's all jelly beans. That's bizarre, isn't it? This artistic rendition of the map of the world was assembled by hand, took over more than 80 hours, comprises 25,000 jelly beans in 28 different colors and flavors. Wildly recognized image, this piece is proving to be popular addition to our jelly bean art gallery. There you go. Jelly beans. We are here, folks. We are here. Look at, on this map, like look at the scale here. Like where we are is down here and this is all of the planet. That's a lot of jelly beans. It is. Uh, the Wakatipu room. What's in here? I guess they're setting up for a function in there. Yeah, they've probably got bands and stuff going on there. The Wakatipu! Oh, we're going outside here. Um, are we gonna go outside already? I guess we're going outside on this side. Let me, uh, let me just change this exposure. So out we go. I guess there's an old uh, cable car. Old school. How, how, oh, that's too bright, man. That's too bright. Look at that. Old school. Viewing dick. What a lovely dick. With a great view. It's a beautiful spot. Whoa! Those guys are leaving. See ya. Oh, there's a good there's a good indicator of the vertical drop that we came up, Pablo. 
a bit windy too. That's the that's the the scale of how we came up. That's the view. And I apologise for the wind. That is pretty windy though, huh? I don't know how bad the wind is for you guys. It's not too bad. Is it? I can't hear it. I'm just I'm just assuming. Wow, what a lovely view though. Forget the just enjoy the view. At, a, at the top of a uh, location, you're gonna get a wind. Look at this. The lake Wakatipu. What a beauty. Isn't it a beauty? Here we are, right on the precipice, the corner of the downtown Queenstown. That's Queenstown. The Lebu. Yeah, so there's your there's your, your gondola going back. You saw that, right? I showed. I, did you see it? You see the um, the vertical rise? So Queenstown Hill, let's let's get let's get over here a bit. Over yonder. Over here we will get a perspective on Queenstown Hill. Now I've streamed from Queenstown Hill a bunch of times. So you will know. You should know this hill here. This is a walkway here. This is an this is Queenstown. Right up there, and we've had this as the backdrop. That's the Remarkables. We've had that as the backdrop from sitting up and streaming there. We've streamed a few times from right on top of the hill, from the front of the hill, down in downtown. That down there is where we have. Where's my exposure? Down here, this is where we're on the jetty, looking across towards the Remarkables. That's been the stream from there many times. We also went across to, this is the, I guess this is Kelvin Heights Peninsula, Frankton Arm, and on the, this is the golf course. And on the back of that golf So all these locations need to, and that's the lake, obviously, the, the beach front. We've done, hang on, where's my exposure? Down here, we've done plenty of streams. This is Queenstown Gardens. We've streamed there on both sides. The skate park's just there. We've streamed here. That jetty that we sit on sometimes looks this way, where we'd stream with the, the other jetties on that side. So guess what I'm illustrating here is that I've shown you a great deal of this town. The view of it, because you do see a fabulous, um, I was going to say depiction, no. You do see a fabulous outlay of the town from up here. Let's have a look to the left here. This is road. So if I come over here a bit. So coming out of town towards Coronet Peak, this that's Coronet Peak ski field right there covered in snow. So this access in this gully is called Gorge Road is pretty much just in So I live just under that little lip of, I guess the lip of the gully, the gully there and then I just get on get my bus from the yard and then we start out um, that's how that works. This is the luge activity here. So we've got a little chairlift going up there. So we come over here and have a look. So if you wanted to take the luge, this chair, and up it goes, and you can take the luge. And we're going to go to these decks as well, I guess, but this is how this happens. That's down there. 
Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go back in here. Okay. Maybe we can or we can't, I don't know. Oh. We guess we can't. We won't go in there. Okay, we'll go, we'll go back around. Huh? A stroke of luck, look at this view. As we come back along here, it's like, dude, what a view. Look at this view. This is a nice, this is a nice base building, right? Like, look how beautiful that is. Are they 4G towers right there, dude? They're 4G. That's 4G right there. No wonder the reception's great. They're repeaters. So here we are, we'll walk along here. Actually, having said that, I probably should check the stream. I haven't checked it for a bit. Let me just uh, punch it up, give you a little view here while we do such, such things. Punch up the stream here. It's out of the wind on this side too, that's nice. My channel. Is there no snow? Up here, uh, not at this point, but there's snow everywhere, everywhere around us, dude. Pablino, Pabluna. You crazy kid. I'm loving this, so rad. It's a beautiful view. Have you tried the bungee? I did the, the other one. So there's the bungee right there. I'll show you the bungee. Wait, wait. The sink is off. Seriously? I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna fix that now. I'm gonna fix that. be buck and we should be good here's the thing let me let me just check that we are buck and we are good you would have seen uh, who took all the 4g for a moment and what I did at that interview interview at that interval interval was to turn the live you uh, the live you turn the video you go off and back on again we've been down this road before when audio starts going haywire the remedy is to turn it off and back on again 
interval was to turn the line. Yeah, so we're good, we're good. Yeah, okay, I'm glad I, I'm glad I didn't faff around like trying to fix that. Look, we, one time we tried all the other things and I just went, you know what? Let's just turn it off and back on again. And it worked back. Yeah, it was it was fine. No, it wasn't. It it, it wasn't fine. And 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 so this is what I was saying before. If I have to give feedback towards uh, Teradek, that's an issue that sort of sometimes creeps into a stream over time where you will suddenly be streaming and then the audio will start going a bit sketchy. And I don't understand why, but I know the remedy is to just turn it off and back on again. So, welcome back. Thank you, Jason. It's fixed. Back. So we were out uh, just exploring and I just thought I wouldn't say anything when I was walking. So there's no, you can't have an audio sync if you turn the camera around and it's not on your face. Uh, so that's what I chose to do that. But I guess we should, um, we should take a hike up. Oh, we're, we're sitting here next to the, the luge chair anyway. If you want to see the luge chair. Starting the luge chair coming up here. There's not many people using it right now, but they would be coming up with their little luge hanging off the back and riding up on the chairlift. You can also paraglide from up here. Uh, that's the top of the luge up there. And we're going to go for a walk somewhere around there. We have the uh, base building behind us here. Uh, that's the base building. I kind of thought there was more to it, but I guess there isn't. Um, that's why they're extending it, making it larger. They want more to it. I thought there was more to it than that, but that's, that's it. Well, we didn't... We didn't see the... Um, the conference room or the theater, right? We could go and check that out. Have you done a paraglide yet? Uh, Pablo, no, and I will, uh, where's the uh, better angle here? I will say this for the record. Um, I don't think Nina's gonna take me up. I'll just say it, I just don't think Nina's gonna do it. Like Nina offered it, she offered it for August. It's now September, I've been messaging her and talking to her and and I just don't think it's gonna happen. Like, it's it's something. And by the way, um, if we did do it, I was suggesting we should do it from here because I feel like there's better 4G opportunities in and around this town uh, to go up to, she also jumps from Coronet Peak, to go up to the top of Coronet Peak. Um, there's a potential that we'll lose the signal like we did on that live stream coming back down. Um, but yeah, you know when, um, do you know when someone offers you something and then the more you like remind them about it or talk about it the less you think it's going to happen that's the vibe i've gotten from i guess from august the idea was to do it in august after the school holidays you know school holidays is busy we're flat out with our jobs and she's flat out with her job right she's she's got a lot on on her plate too obviously um but yeah the 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 last few messages that I've sent, she just hasn't responded to, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna push it. I mean, would it be great to do as a live stream? Absolutely. Technically, it'll be a little challenging because the, the, my backpack will have to be on my front because she's got to be behind me. So there's technical sort of, um, there's technical issues that we'd have to overcome, but I was willing to try it. But yeah, she's, I guess, I, just, I, I personally don't think it's gonna happen, but I could be wrong. So, shall we take a hike then? Um, I kind of want to see like a map of some sorts. And we'll just take a hike up further and sit somewhere. See, the wind's wrapping around. I figure if we kind of go on this side of the mountain, like there'll be a spot to sit that won't be in the wind. So let's, let's do that. Oh well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I felt too when when it, when it kind of became clear that it might not happen. I was like, oh, that sucks. Um, yeah. Some some things don't line up too. Like my days off are Thursday, Friday, and that's not her days off. So to do it, I have to like take a day off work, which I'm happy to do. Um, we can swap. Like I just did a I did a shift for Jono. I didn't ask. So hang on. He asked me to do a shift of his. And I said, yeah, man, no worries. And he didn't, I didn't say I'll do it on the condition you do one of mine, but I'm sure he would if I asked him. 
But anyway, anyway, it doesn't really matter. All right, so let's take this, turn this off. Let's see if we can take a stroll here. Now, this is, uh, we obviously will have to start towards the Ben Lomond Trail. I don't know where that starts, but there's a little sort of walk across the side here where the uh, paragliders start from, so we're going to have a look at that. Yeah, we'll go and have a look at this, and then we'll move on from there. Uh, we've got some people on the uh, luge chair. Up they go. Skyline luge. And we'll go through here. This will get to a lookout. Look out! Old luge track. I don't know. Oh, okay. I just thought this was where they jumped from. Okay, so I guess we're not going to be going too far. I thought this was to the jump spot. Uh, you asked about snow before. There's snow right there. Okay. This area is fenced off. I thought this is where they jump from. It could be actually. You've got an open space down below for them to like. You know, if I if I just walk down there, I'd get to my house. It'd be a, a gnarly hike, but you would eventually. Hey, there's a goat right there. Mountain goat. Hello, mountain goat. Ah. These guys are wild, man. They're wild, I tell you. He's not very wild. But yeah, if I was to walk through the guts of that, I'd, wi I'd wind up at my place, but that would be an absolute mission and a half. And we're not gonna do that. So instead we're gonna come back up here. There's another mountain goat. Mountain goat, you wild animal. Look at this guy. Why do they gotta go right on the edge like that? Look at him. <laughs> I guess he wants to get the, the best grass. Can you see that there, little mountain goat? Just going, I'm eating. Don't knock me over. <laughs> and um, the other day, I was uh, putting pizza boxes in the bin. And um, as I was going outside, a mountain, like not a mountain goat, a series of mountain goats, like six or seven of them just came charging down from above, like the driveway above me frightened me and they look gnarly too they look like they look like the kind that were like don't get in my way this is my area so i got out of their way and they came through the driveway area and then they disappeared up the hill but apparently it's a big it's a big problem here in queenstown like they got lots of wild goats that sort of run a mark on the the hinterlands on the hinterland on the um these areas <laughs> Look at that view. Look at it. Expose it correctly and then look at it. Isn't it nice? Yes, it's lovely. cage here so you don't get hit on something falls off the uh, lift so let's move on huh skyline sky express look you can stick your heads in here and get a photo So I'm guessing this walkway goes to the luge top part. 
I want to find the Ben Lomond start. Let's go and see. It's got to be over here. Oh, interesting. Interesting, I walked past it. Ben Lomond Trail, paragliding that way. So I guess we go up that and start from there. Bungee and Luge, mountain bike trail, zip line, helipad, Tiggy Trail, that goes back to Queenstown. That's the way back down. We, I'll leave you guys to decide that, but we're gonna go this way first and I'm gonna try to find a nice lookout at the top. So I guess we did that wrong. So we're gonna go back along here. Be windy up here. No droneses. Oh, this is cool. Let's go up here, eh? Park up here for a bit. There's a lovely table and chairs and a lovely view. So let's park up for a moment. Also, I guess I should keep checking like 4G. The further, the further up we go. Yeah, I guess I should keep an eye on that, like 4G style. Because we are climbing higher up. Uh, I don't even know how far we're going to go, but I guess I'll um, just check it right now. We're on the top of the uh, the circle circuit for the luge. I don't know if you'll be able to see them come behind me. Nice little spot here to per perch up for a moment. Check the chisel jet. Chanel. Okay, so nobody's making comments. That's a little disturbing. Yeah, yeah, we're on this the other track. It's a different one. Good on you. We're professional, man. Professionals. Um, Pablo made a clip. Thank you, Pablo. Can someone say something to verify that this is all good? I think we're good. saying anything that's concerning 
when no one says anything, that's always a concern for a live streamer. MD Wit, hello! Thank you, MD Wit. What you want to comment about? I well, look, as a streamer, when I open up the, the, the stream and don't see any comments, I automatically think something's wrong. Now, it could just be that you have nothing on your mind, nothing to contribute. This is a, this is a point, this is a good point. You want to see some luge action? Can you see that guy come down here? You got this section here too. I guess I'll show you them coming around the corner. When they come around, I'll uh, get a little tighter in on them. And then you'll see some luge action. What was that noise? I'm loving the view and I'm just in awe. Understood, understood. It is a spectacular view, like there's no denying that. It'd be great if a, if a luge machine came down at this particular juncture. Luigi, El Lugio. That's my bag in the way. Get that out of there, I'll leave it in there. Come on, El Lugio. I appreciate the clips, Pablo. Pablo made a clip. I appreciate that, dude. Much appreciation. I might do a presentation to camera, such as television style. Watch this. And just to the left of me, those with the uh, keen heart for speed can maintain themselves on the luge. Maintain? That's the wrong word. Cut that. Start that again. Just to the left of me, the Queenstown luge track at the top here of Skyline Gondola, where you can excel and exceed your speed limit requirements on the normal roads. You've got to respect the law here. Actually, it says go slow over there. I was going to say go as fast as you want, except for that bit where you've got to go slow. It tells you the whole way around. Go slow, go slow, go slow. Go slow there and everywhere else go quick, like this person. And that's where you'd cut to the person doing it. There's no one doing it though. Well, there's a whole bunch of crew going up on the chairlift. Queenstown Luge. Hello. Hello. Luigi. Luigi, is that your name? No. Okay. Live streaming. You're on it! Hi! <laughs> what are you live streaming on? On YouTube! Oh, we'll go What's check your out your channel! Gives a minute! What? Gives a minute! Okay! <laughs> and back to the loo track. Should it not be called Kingstown now? Ooh, Hendrik, controversial commentary. Let's talk about that. The Queen died, so is it still Queenstown? Good question. There's gonna be a, there'll be a town debate about this, I'm sure. You can't change the name just because somebody died. Look, here comes luge machines. Luge on. Slow. She's going real slow in that corner. Here they come. Here comes Red Helmet. I gotta tell you, I'm sure her hands were cold. I'm sure of it. El Lujo, El Machino. Oh, it's cold up here. So, that's the luge machine. Let's get out of here. Let's continue our trek upwards. Or well, wherever we're gonna go. I'm not too sure where we're gonna wind up, but we'll go. I kind of wanted to get out of the wind. Find a spot to sit up out of the wind. Yep. <laughs> oh, there comes luge machining. El Lujo. He's in time. There comes, oh look, blue helmet with purple gloves. Cut the speed. Uh, 
All right, let's continue. Let's continue up. If we can find a spot to park up, we will. I don't even know if this is the start of that walk, but we'll see. Now my camera's all a little bit misaligned, malaligned, as it were. Okay, let's, con let's continue cruising. Gives a minute. Give, as in G-I-V-E, gives a minute. That's it. Cheers, man. Yeah. Just, uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tap on that twinkle algorithm YouTube Yahoo button. Thumbnail, dab, haters, love, GoPro. All the things. So up we go here. There's never, uh, like, so many different lookout spots, as, all of them with great views. As... This is construction, building a bigger space. So, here's the Skyline Luge, Complex, Loop Track, and Ben Lomond. Ben Lomond's down, ironically. I guess we've got to cut through there. I guess we'll go into it a little bit. I, got, I, I should keep an eye on the... I'll definitely keep an eye on the um, 4G. The further in here we go, it's going gonna, it's gonna to dwindle, surely. Yeah, I don't know if we should go too far up this track, to be honest. <laughs> there is 4G, but it won't extend too much further. I, I'm actually pretty reluctant to even be going this far away. We'll see. We'll see. This is the start of the Ben Lomond hike. And I thought maybe we could get a spot wrapping around out of the wind, but it seems like it's going directly into the wind. <clears throat> Let's go and see, and then I'll check the chat from up here as well. Yeah, I feel like we're entering the extremities of the 4G. It's also getting very dark up here. Change the exposure. So, yeah. Ben Lomond track. Five to six hour return. Steep and exposed, difficult. 950, 3,210 feet ascent. Extreme weather near summit. We are not doing this. Of course we're not. I thought maybe this might wrap around a little here. We could see a little view. Yeah, so we're not gonna do this, but we'll just go in a little ways. We're obviously not gonna do the trail. It looks like a mountain bike trail here. Oh, we've got to check the 4G. I'm going to put the auto ISO back on here. Arthur's Point, moonlight track, wow. 15 kilometers. Crikey. Um, let me just stop here. Dude, there's a bench right there. I could sit at that. No, we'll just, we'll just, okay, there's rocks over here. Let's park up on these rocks. And I'll just check that 4G, because I feel like if we went into this forest, it's all over for the 4G, surely, right? It's so nice here, though. Like, that looks, that looks frightening, but rad. 
The irony is if we went down, like if we, if we went, if we descended, we should be good with the 4G. But the further up we go, and I've discovered this before, if you go up, you lose connectivity. So let's just park up here for a moment. Oh, put you Yahoo's down on a straight angel. So, let me just check, because we might have lost it already. Because then I'm then I'm going to pitch you the opportunity or the um, the options. Ooh, looks slow to respond. That could just be D Live though. So no one's saying anything. Okay, well it looks good, sounds good still. Uh, auto ISO is wrong. Let's go to ISO 800. So here's the uh, here's the opportunity for you to speak up now in the chat. How many are there of you? Ten of you. Ten. If we wanted to, we could walk back down. We don't have to get the gondola back down. We could walk back down. That would take us through the Tiki Trail. It would be much easier than walking up, obviously. We would always maintain 4G because I know that there's 4G around the town. Um, man, either way, I've really got to take a slash. I'll let you decide. It, so we could either stay up here or we could start descending and finding good spots to stop at on the way down. Just gonna take a quick slash. Where exactly? Behind this. Huh. There's not really anywhere to do this. Because I put the camera down. Um, I could just go and find the bathroom. I could do that too. Still here. Thank you, Pablo. Thank you. What do you say? What do you want to do then? track I think we should do the skyline loop track that's that's this way and we can see what happens with the 4g yeah let's do that and then we'll decide because it's still too early I want to see the sunset let's see what the skyline loop tracks all about I'm gonna to have to be careful with 4G though. I don't think this is gonna work. The further we go into this dark forest, the less chance of 4G working 100%. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll have it out with me. I'll have it out. I'm gonna have the 4G out with me, uh, the stream. So we'll just see how this goes, if it works at all. Go to my channel. I had to VPN to use DLive today. Did you really, Hendrik? That's a shame. Speak up, you say? Speak up or forever hold your peace. Uh, ISO, into the forest we go. ISO 3200, shutter speed 100. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We'll walk in here. It's 5.36, is it really? Yes, yeah, 5.36, Hendrik. Sunset's not till quarter past six though. So we'll go into this, we'll go into the woods here. This is the loop track. I guess the beautiful thing about a loop track is it loops back around. So the further we go away, it'll always come back. The moment we start looping.
How are we looking? Any moment now we're gonna lose it, right? Surely. Surely. It's all so steep up here. Hectic. It's like Queenstown Hill Walk. We lost it. We lost it. We lost it, surely. Yep, we're done. We're done at that point. We lost. Oh no, it's back. Okay, well I thought that was all over then. Uh, tell me, in the chat, tell me if it's too sketch. My feet are fucked. It hurts watching this walk. <laughs> okay. It comes out to a clearing here. That could give us better 4G. But there was a bit sketchy there for a moment, wasn't there? It's to be expected though. So this loop track should go back around, hopefully. Yes, yeah, swish. Yeah, skyline loop track. 20 minutes, easy, man. Yeah, so we're good here. Ben Lomond track, hell no. Skyline loop track brings us back towards 4G. We're good. There'll be a little sketchy period. The loop track will bring us back though. Okay, it seems to be stuck on that point. Oh, can we not get this? No, it's not gonna work, is it? It's not gonna work here. That's a shame. Ben Lohman, look out.
Are we bark? I think we're bark. Let me just check if we are bark by refreshing my trousers. And you should do such too. Refresh your trousers. Although I don't think we're going to stick around here too long. Crikey, it's windy. What? Um, what happened? What I thought would happen? As we walked into the woods, we lost 4G. We tinkled with a little 3G for a little while. It might have been a little in and out with 3G. And then it went ta-ta and completely disappeared. I did the Queenstown skyline loop track and came back out here above the, the luge where I think we should be good with reception. Yeah, okay, there we are, we're buck. So yeah, that, that was predictable that that would happen um, in the sense that I thought that would happen. And in fact, I knew that would happen because we've done it before. We've been on a walk before where that's happened. So we, we're good here though, we're good here. Let's put a light on though, right? It's getting cold, it's getting cold. It's getting cold to put a light on. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you heard that, right? Let's put a light on because it's getting dark up here. Um, I guess I'm gonna go on this side, aren't I? I guess the light's gonna be on this side of me. I don't normally do the light on this side, but uh, strange times, folks. They call for strange measures, measures. If you are still in the chat, say I'm here. Say I didn't go anywhere. Oh, we is it still a bit sketchy? Is it still a bit sketchy up here, is it? Are we still a bit sketchy? No, no, that's all good. Yeah, if you're still there in the chat, let me know because I know we went through a period, a rough period there together. And if you're still with me, let me know. Otherwise, I'll wrap this stream up. Eh? If you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. Oh, this can't go on this side because of the uh, HDMI cable. Awesome. Yes, it can. No, it can't. Oh, no, it can't. That's um. The HDMI cable is blocking the addition of that. That's not. Oh, I'll put it on the front though. No, that's still not going to work. Might look for a better spot. Maybe we'll go a little lower. This is too windy and cold up here. Might look for a better spot, folks. There's no one in the chat anyway, so who am I talking to? Nobody. Go a little lower. I'm still here, Julia. Hello, thank you, Julia. We'll go a little bit lower. It's kind of annoying with the, the luge activity, the noise and everything. It's also right in the wind here, so we'll go a little lower. T-Rex, I'm here. T-Rex, how you doing T-Rex? Good to see you man. Hello, welcome to the stream. We're just gonna move locations. We wanna get a little bit lower down uh, out of the wind ideally, and obviously that'll get us closer to the 4G strength as well. Um, I feel like we're just at the extremities of it here. Mainly the wind is annoying me at this particular elevation. So let's go a little lower skis. Go a little lower here. Yep. Yeah. Let's de let's descend a little. Each step goes lower. Hold on a second. Each step that we go lower, obviously, the more out of the wind we get, and the less, uh, oh, the better for G two.
easier. You're welcome. Hey. Where are you from? No, I'm Australian. Oh, I like your hat. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, look at this. This is where the paragliders take off from. They're not launching today though, it's too windy. This is a nice view though. Yeah, it's too windy for them to fly, isn't it? They run down here and leap off into the stratosphere. And that's Coronet Peak over there, folks. Over yonder. How's the exposure? We'll go auto, I uh, will go ISO 100. So that's Coronet Peak in the distance. This is Queenstown down underneath. Remarkables over yonder. We'll go down here. Get away from that wind though. So yeah, we just basically walked around the back of this, lost lost 4G in there, came out up there and came back around. We didn't really you didn't really miss much. There's the sun going down though. We could sit up here at one of these tables, couldn't we? How windy is it? Can we find a... Is this going to be a good spot? We could sit here. Oh, you got a bin in the way though. If we sit here, you can see the Remarkables. Yeah, not great. We'll get it. We'll find a better one. We'll find a better spot to park up and sit. In an ideal uh, spot, it would be out of that breeze. Because that's ice cold. Are we good with the stream, folks? Are we good? We, we should be good right here, sure. I mean, we've walked up here before, right? We've literally been here before. It's a luge machine. El Lujo El Machino. So, and the stream's good. Have you noticed any quakes lately? No, no quakes. Sunset, Hendrik, yes. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna park up right here. No, on this table. Is that protected from a bit of a breeze? This is more protected. This one's going to be the better spot though. This one's going to be the better spot. We've already sat here before. It's not great for breeze, but it'll do. I'll put up with the breeze. Is that a gondola that takes you to the distillery? No, Julia, no distillery up here. That'd be cool though. That'll be rad. Where did you hear about that? Where, and tell me where it is. That'd be pretty cool, distillery.
We're going to set up here with a uh, beer and a light. So let's get a light on. Let's get a nice exposure here. Get a charge on my chat. Okay, chat's good. Is this the gondola that takes you up to a distillery? That'd be so sick. But no, it's not. I'm gonna put a little light on here. Okay, this is the angle, I believe. Gee, it's cold. I remember you talking about that too. There's a distillery you can take a sky lift to. Um, I gotta, I gotta plead ignorance. I don't know about that. If I talked about it, if I mentioned it, then I might have, I might need correcting because I, I don't recall, I definitely don't recall there being a distillery that has a gondola going to it. I want that to happen. I want that to be the case, but I don't, I do not recall that to be the case. So let's put this light on uh, now. We should have a better, but I want to get out of the view, right? I want to be over here. So is that is that a good sunset angle? Grimsky, how you doing, man? NZ IRL, thank you, Pablo. Yes, it is indeed. Is that a good sunset angle? Or am I in the way here? Or should I be further over this way? I think I should be further over this way, right? Get out of the uh, the framing. I think, is that better for, for you guys to not see so much, like you want to see more of that, right? Not me. I'm going to get rubbed up here though. How are you Grim? How's, how's Grimsky going? North Island style. Haven't been here in ages. How's it going? In uh, on my channel or in, or you mean up here at Skyline? Have you been to Sky? Have you been to Queenstown, Grimsky? Grimsky's a. F I was going to say a fellow Kiwi. I'm not a Kiwi, but I'm in Kiwi land. Got this beer here. It's a stout. I'm looking forward to join to enjoying it. You haven't been on D Live? Oh wow, you've been you've been giving D Live a miss, have you? Yeah, right. Uh, there's a fair few people that are uh, in that boat, man. Yeah, it's a shame, isn't it? D Live has really uh, let the ball drop. Mm, drop. Ooh. 
there's a little zephyr of cold wind coming through from the west. Cheers, Azizis. Hope you've enjoyed this skyline experience. It's pretty nice up here. If that wasn't for that wind, it would be absolutely lovely, but I am I'm feeling the, the cold right now. We won't talk bad about it here, but yeah, I'm done with D-Live. Yeah, okay. Understood, man. Understood, dude. Understood. You're welcome to talk about it if you want. I mean, I, I don't have any... Oh, I mean, there's... Yeah, there's... Well. There's nothing I can talk about because it's private. Uh, private partners Discord, but yeah, I'm, I'm also uh, at my tether. <coughs> It's a shame, huh? It's a real shame. I'm just looking at the snow coverage of Ben Lomond. Or at least that side of it. There's not a great deal of snow up there. Dude, that wind is just... I won't be able to sit out here for two... I hope, hopefully you'll at least get the sunset in. But it's, it's cold, that wind. It's cold. And I still have a little clearing out of this gunky, coldy, zesty. Yeah, it's not feeling great. Expose you to the elements. Can you hear the wind on the microphone, or is the windsock doing its doing its job? What a spectacular city, though, or town, I guess. It's not really a city, is it? The only time I've been down the South Island is when I was in the military camp most of the time. Oh, so you never got to really explore it. Okay. That's a shame, dude. Pretty nice, man. Pretty nice here. I've certainly enjoyed my time here. Certainly, certainly had a great uh, overall experience in this town. gonna get annoying. It's blowing in the wind. Yeah. Funny on this so the Lake Wakatipu runs all the way to the wet to the southwest to Glenorchy. On the way there's a place called Wilson's Bay. Wilson! And um it's so strange. The first time I sat there I couldn't work out what it was that was confusing me about it but I was confused I was sitting there and something was wrong like it, it was something was maybe wrong is the wrong word something was different of this spot and it dawned on me that all the trees or not all but the bulk of the trees that were on that bay were eucalypt this is a native Australian tree and they were all scattered along this this bay and let's just remember like it takes years for a tree to grow to like full height, right? And these are like, these are big eucalypts, big gum trees that have been, they must have been there for years. And I did a bit of research on it and it turns out that there was, I mean, obviously there's been a lot of Australian settlement here as well as a lot of New Zealand settlement in Australia. And a lot of the towns and areas um, are, are du duplicated, if you like, or mimicked. So there'll be towns here with rivers that uh, exist in the same names of towns in Australia and apparently this Wilson Cobber came uh, went to Australia oh there's a baby crying and brought back eucalypts and planted them around and I found another little keep it down I see you agree with me I found another little packet uh, or pocket of um eucalypt trees. I was just cycling along the road and I stopped and looked up and went, what? That's Australia, right? That that whole view looked like it could have been anywhere in, in Oz. And with that said too, there's places in Oz that look exactly like like this. Just thought that it, it that was early in my time here. It was, I think it was one of my first trips out to Moak Lake. No, it can't be because it's after Moak Lake. It would have been when I did um, uh, Lake the Decept Deceptive Lake? What? No, no. Argu argument Lake? Lake? Lake arguing. What's the lake where you argue at? Or I argued at? Lake Decept... Lake? 
like dispute. That would have been what it was, because it's past. That's you have to go up and down to Wilson's Bay. Mr. Lee Sensai with the follow. Hello, Mr. Lee. Thanks for following the Gives a Minute D Live stream. Now this makes you the latest giver right here on the channel. Now why would this make you a giver? Well, let me explain. You see, you're giving me your time to consume the content, whereas me, I'm a giver because I'm giving you my time to create the content. And so you see how we're both givers here, and this is a two-way luge track, and you're the latest giver on the Gives a Minute D live stream. Thanks for the follow, Mr. Lee Sensei. Apologies for this, folks. My nose is just dripping with snot. It's not made any better from the cold temperature up here, but... I hiked around this in summer. The dead cat is alive. It's working. It's working well. Okay, good, good. It took five days. I can see big-ass gum trees right now. There's a lot of them, right? Grim, there's a lot of them around, hey? And that, and, and that brought me uh, a little sense of... Um, I got a little homesick. And this was way back when I first got here, like in, I guess it would have been late May. Yeah. A giver like the old guy who has all the memories of humanity from the book. What book and what guy? I don't follow. Oh, uh, what? Wow. All right, there's an example. Hey, remember I began this stream talking about the TerraDeck video you go and how there is sometimes issues? Right then, it just, it just stopped. It just stopped the stream. And I looked at it and it wasn't live. So for some reason, and, and this can't, whoa, my camera almost wobbled over. Wow, that was close. Um, so the stream just stopped because the, the video you go uh, just stopped streaming. And my point with that is, it you like when I thought it happened, when I it's happened a few times, and I've thought it was because something in the bag, like in the backpack, was stopping the stream from happening, like pressing the buttons. But it can't be because the backpack's been sitting stationary for the last ten minutes. So yeah, every now and then there's just this weird thing that the video you go just stops streaming. Either way, we're Buck. Uh, the Giver is a dystopian novel written by Louis Lowry, published in 1993. Basically, it's a closed off community. Everyone is like an NPC. I'm not too sure what that means. Uh, with very limited memories, they are assigned one job and they do that for life. Only the giver has the memories of all. Dude! Oh, I was gonna say, I wanna see that film. I gotta read a book? Shit! I like the idea of it, I don't wanna read a book though. That, does, that, does, that sounds like a pretty interesting idea. Grimsky, I remember as a kid looking for the huge caterpillars that live on those trees, on gum trees. Yeah, the, um... There's like spitfires in Australia. I don't know if you have them here. They're like yellow and red with a big spike on the tail. A non-playable character is an NPC. Oh, okay. A non-playable character. Okay. Human history and society. Yeah, I mean, that's. I'm going to get a screenshot of that because I might try to pick it up as an audio book. I'll just get a screenshot of that. The Giver. 
An NPC, a non-playable character, basically a person without their own thoughts. They just conform and follow the crowd. Right, I, I follow you. I follow what you, I, I, I get what you're putting down. There is a movie of it. The Giver movie is terrible. Move. You said the movie is much better. You meant the book. Right, right, right. So there is a there is a movie of it. Okay. I gotta be honest. Right now, uh, Shlok, if you're watching this, apologies. Um, Shlok's my housemate, who's not in the country at the moment. He's back in. He's in Dubai at the moment, or no? Yeah, been. He'd be. He's either in Scotland or Dubai. Um, hello, if you're watching Shlok. He got me. He wanted. Well, he. He suggested I watch all of the Alien. So like. I've already seen Alien as a kid, and I, I think I've seen up to Alien 3. Um, I have a strange memory of me and my mum. Hello mum, if you're watching. I have a memory of me and you going to Sylvania Greater Union, one, two, and three, and watching Alien Part 3 in like 1995 or 1996 or something. So I've already, like Alien and Aliens are two great films, right? They're great horror flicks. Alien 3, maybe not so good, it's a little little cheesy, a little, little lousy, but Shlok said, no, you've got to watch Prometheus and like Alien vs Predator and, and all that stuff, and I'm like, ah. Oh. So I am, and I'm struggling to sit through them, I just, I like a good horror flick, but if I'm going to watch horror, it's going to be like, like Wolf Creek or something, like something somewhat conceivably believable, right? But big aliens and predators and shit. I don't know. It's, uh, what I really liked about Alien and Aliens is that you didn't see the thing, you know? It was like this... this the, the most frightening thing about Alien was when that thing shot out of that dude's stomach the first time and all you saw was a little sliver of it shooting across the floor. You're like, oh, what the hell was that? Like, something gnarly came out of his chest, right? And then it disappeared quickly. The moment you see that up front and you get a visual of it, you're like, okay, it's grotesque, but is it terrifying? Not really. So I'm, I'm struggling through it and I'm up to, um, I'm up to, I, I just watched today on my day off, I just watched Alien vs Predator, number one, and then I believe there's Alien vs Predator, the Requiem or the, the next, the, the repeat or the, and then there's Prometheus, and I understand Prometheus to be better. I understand Prometheus goes back to before Alien, before the first film. So that's going to be interesting. <coughs> yeah, there you go, Mr. Lee Sensei. Prometheus is amazing, sequel of that isn't... Oh, there's a sequel of that as well? Oh, shit. Sylvania, yeah, right on, Hendrik, you know it. I just watched Prometheus recently and Covenant. So is, is that good? Are they good? Like, cause like, Alien vs Predator, eh, I don't know, like, Predator was a good film, but that was terrifying too. Maybe I should go back and watch those. But I'm not really a horror dude, like I don't really watch horror flicks. But that was a, that was a good film. And the sequel to Prometheus, that's the end, right? There's no more after that, like, at that point, you've watched all of the Alien franchise, and you've watched the subsets, like the Predator vs. Alien crap, and then you've watched the... Is Sigourney Weaver in, like, Prometheus and, like, the next one? Yeah. Yeah, I really thought Alien and Aliens were two really frightening, frightening films. Uh, although, having re-watched them, I never really, I didn't get that sense of fright that I did the first time, like, like you can't... I didn't know what that noise was. I thought it was like a goat or something, like a wild animal. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that on the camera, but the, right behind me I heard like a high-pitched squeal. I was like, what the hell is that? Um, Alien Covenant is the sequel to Prometheus. Okay, okay. Covenant comes after Prometheus. Okay, good. Good to know I'm going to get him in the right order. 
I don't see it as horror, more of a thriller. Ah, okay, okay. Mr. Sensei, I mean, I think they still want to milk the Alien franchise, so they're probably going to make more. The new Predator movie is out now too. See, if I go back and watch that, i got to do all of them, right? I can't just go and watch the new one. Um, they recently released Prey, which is a super, a super prequel to the Predator. <laughs> Jesus, a super prequel. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put the ISR up here, folks, to 400. You know what they'll do? They'll release, they'll be like the prequel, prequel, prequel. And all it will be will be a black screen. It'll be like, well, yeah, before, before anything, there was nothing. So this is, this is the prequel, the super prequel to every film ever made. And for an hour and 30 minutes, it's just a black screen. Directed by, written by, produced by, screenplay by, just a black screen. Taking, taking, um, the jet, the, Genesis of movie making to its absolute extremities. Maybe I should do that, right? And produce it and like have a screening and have a red carpet and have heaps of celebrities and be like, who's in this film? Be like everybody, man. They're all in it. All the big name actors, I got them all, hey. You can't see them. No, it's black. It's just a black screen. This is before anything happened. Before anything, there was nothing. <laughs> I got this, right? I, I thought of this. If some fuck with if someone does this, you can just go back to this stream and timestamp, link them and say, nah, dude, this guy, this unknown dickhead in New Zealand thought of this first. Imagine having like a big premiere screening and like goes to the Cannes Film Festival and like critics are, re you get critics that like review it and they give it good and bad reviews. Like some dudes are like, this is the most artistic thing I've ever seen. It just demonstrates exactly how every filmmaker would think. They start from nothing and they obviously get something, but this is the prequel to all that. So it has to start with, it has to be nothing. And it's just a beautiful, like the, and then you'll get some arty wanker going, yeah, the tone of that black is a little bit off. It's not quite, 256, 256, 256. It's more, it's a slight shade of black and that resembles the, the dawning of concept and the conceiving of an idea. It's like just less than black. It's a little bit gray and you'll get all these critics and they'll be like four and a half out of five stars and someone will be like, how come you didn't give it five stars? It's like, ah, uh, you know, the B story wasn't strong enough. It's like, yeah, the B story was the same as the A story. It's the it's the beginning. Yeah, but it needed to they needed to develop that into a, a fully fledged B story of its own. That's gonna happen. It's gonna someone's gonna do it, right? Someone's gonna put out a film of black, all white. Could be, uh, probably should be white. I oh shit, no. Someone's gonna either color you choose. Someone's gonna get offended, but it needs to just be a nothing. What, what color is nothing? It should just be neutral gray. 33% gray. Neutral, right? <laughs> you can't complain with... No, but then it's not... But then it's something. Black is nothing. Black... See, forget racial connotations. Connotations. Black is void of light. So, what makes something... That's windy, isn't it? On the back of that microphone. The wind just picked up then. What gives something... Um, substance is light reflecting off of it so the only reason and I'm, I'm i'm only speaking to those that have vision i'm not speaking to the blind here but because they see things differently or hear things and but people that have good vision or full vision they only see something because light is reflecting off of it so an absence of light would make nothing and therefore it has to be black i hate movie critics I'll make up my own mind. Hey, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a windsock on the back of this microphone because it's now getting to that point where I can hear, I can feel wind is blowing and I got a windsock for the back of it so I might as well use uses it. I want you guys to have the best experience possible so that you all come to my premiere of the prequel of prequels of prequels. So I've got a little elastic band here. I've got a little windsock that's going to go on the back of my microphone. It's going to sit right there. It's going to be difficult to put on. Oh, I've already messed it up.
So there's a windsock on the back of the microphone. Should give you a little bit more protection from that wind that is coming from behind. Uh, there is wind now, but it's all good. Okay, okay. Is this camera you're using the Panasonic Linux GH5? It looks amazing. Yes, it is. It's a GH5 from Panasonic. It is the greatest camera. Hands down, this is the greatest camera I've ever used for video. Hands down. Like, this thing is, is so good. But I'm also streaming at a high bit rate, so that adds to it. Uh, Lee says, you should release a movie that's literally just a grey screen and then call it Abstract Modern Urn. Then people will pay millions to buy it. Modern art. Yeah, yeah, well that, that will be what I'd do. I'd... No, but this wouldn't even be a... This would be the prequel to the film. It's the genesis. The genesis of every film. How did I get that far? Think about it. Every film has to start with an idea. Uh, what was that noise? Oh, there's wild goats everywhere around here. Every film starts with an idea, and every idea starts from nothing. And so therefore the film is just a black screen of nothing. The only time you see anything on the screen is when the credits roll at the beginning. 20th Century Fox. And then a screen based on an original concept by everybody, anywhere, ever. Coming to the theatres in Dolby Surround Sound. And yeah, you've got... Oh, what would this... What would the soundtrack be? That's strict. Now you're pushing it, hey, because you have to have a soundtrack. What, what could the soundtrack be? Crickets. Right? Before any idea is crickets. Just the sounds of chirping crickets. <laughs> what bitrate, may I ask? Uh, 6,000. 6,000. Black to white are called shades. That is why they're, they're not colors. Ooh, ooh, Julia. Technically, you're correct, yes. They are, black is not a color. Yeah, it's a shade. It's a, t it's a tonality, to be actually more specific. The prequel to The Big Bang. I'd pay to watch your Nothing Grey movie. Tism! Hendrik, this is... Tism would do something like... Tism would do something like that, for sure. In fact, they, they might have already done it. Has anybody done this? And if it's Tism, am I just not remembering that they did it? Did they put out an... No, they put out an... They put out an album called The White Alban, spelled incorrectly, and they had... No, they just... Re... Dude, they just released an album of nothing. Wh who's Tism? Uh, Tism... <laughs> Tism is a... A shitty, a shitty techno band from Australia that relies not on their musical prowess, but more so on their social commentary. So they're not great musicians. Their music is awful, yet it's socially scathing. It's satire. M nearly all of it is like poking fun at everything to do with anything. Literally anything. Anything is open for a sledging from Tism. Um, they no longer exist, although they just reformed. So they had their sort of like career highlights was like the late 90s. In Australia, they never really cracked the overseas market. Most of their commentary is like Australian-esque and like very localized. So if you don't know Australia and... This, well, that's not true exactly, but most of it is that way, but... They never really conquered the international market, um, but they did create a lot of enemies along the way. <laughs> um, but they just reformed. They're doing, a, they're doing a series of dates at Good Things Festival. And also, they just released three albums at once. I'm pretty certain one of those albums is an album of nothing. Like, I'm... I'm <coughs> I put out the press release on Across the Ocean a couple of weeks ago. I'm pretty certain one of the albums they released in... They did three in one go. It's just an album of nothing. Like, literally nothing. I love that concept. Yeah. They, um... They copped a lot of flack. Uh, funnily enough, they copped a lot of flack internationally because they had a song about River Phoenix and about his overdosing. And they titled the song He'll Never Be an Old Man, River. And, um... 
it's basically the song is glorifying the use of uh, mixed a mixed concoction of drugs which is what River Phoenix took before he died at the Viper Room or the Phoenix the, I think it was the Viper Room wasn't it where he died oh, at the front of it anyway so Tism wrote a song called He'll Never Be an Old Man River and the lyric in the song the, 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 the lyric that kind of caused the problems was uh, repeat over and over I'm on the drug I'm on the drug I'm on the drug that killed River Phoenix You can go and read the lyrics yourself and you can see why it would have been causing an issue. It's a... Uh, somebody just died, right? Or somebody that the world loved, an, an acclaimed actor, just dies because of a drug overdose. And this shitty no-name Australian band writes a song. And it's a catchy song too. It's a catchy, shitty, techno... musically rubbish, but lyrically pretty hard hitting um, it's art you know art is art you can't deny art but a lot of the world hated it and they copped a lot of flack let's ramp this ISO up folks 800 oh shutter speed can go down too and that light volume can go down turn the lights down what's that song called it's called it's called in brackets no it's called he'll never be an old man I'll write it down. I think it's called Heal. I'm putting this in the chat for you. I'm pretty certain that's what it's called. He'll never be an old man in brackets river. I think so too. The album is blank. The others are re-releases. That's right, Hendrik. Yeah, the album is blank. <laughs> Released a blank album. Uh, <laughs> and people will buy it too. I'm listening to Defecate on My Face by Tism. See, Defecate on My Face was kind of how they, um, they, I guess they sort of, they came, they became something with that track. Well, that was their first kind of, is that the one they did on Saturday night? It, no, Saturday Night Palsy was the one they did on Hey Hey at Saturday. No, no, I'm thinking of a different song. It's called, in brackets, you'll never be an old man river. Collingwood Town Hall. Are you seeing... You, don't, don't look at a live version of it. That, you, unless you're a fan, you won't like the live stuff. I'm on the drug that killed River Phoenix. What an epic sunset that's going to be. That is. That's such a beautiful, that like, that's so beautiful. Eh? Do you stream on stream on YouTube or Twitch? I do. I do. I stream. I'm I'm on all the platforms. Like right now, I'm using Restream to broadcast it everywhere. So I do. That's a gorgeous view. Yeah, it's really pretty. I guess we're gonna get the gondola back down. I was thinking about walking down, but it's now getting too dark. And but the gentleman before was kind of telling me that oh, we're gonna close. So it's just a regular weekday, so they're going to close up here sort of soon. But I've got my eye on the luge and the chairlift. They can't close when people are up here, so... So we'll be good. we're still good. We, the, the, the timing's going to be perfect, I guess, to get off here. We'll take, the, we'll take the gondola back down, is what I'm saying, and I'll stream it, you know? I'll stream the view from the gondola down. And each time we can just drop that light a little... Excuse me a second. Just dripping out. I subbed to you on YouTube as well. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you, Lee. Thank you. I'm uh, seven years into YouTube. Seven years I've been doing YouTube. Uh, so I'm pretty happy to gain a new sub. Appreciate that, man.
didn't did you say before you came in from um or was that not you that you came in from a uh, snorkel mask video or is that some that might have been somebody else Dude, there's cloud in the sky coming from the west. We could get, we could get snow overnight. If that cloud comes in, that's, they're rain clouds. You can't see it and you might see it if it comes across. Actually, it's good that you can't see it yet. Like, it's still quite far down the, the Wakatipu, but if it comes across this way, it'll cover the remarks, but by then it'll be dark anyway. Uh, what do you think about DLive? No, you were just browsing DLive. Oh, okay. Um, I love DLive. I love what DLive once stood for and a good portion of me really wants that to get back to those I'm not level a, a huge portion of me wants to get back to those good days of DLive um, I'm hanging in there hoping for hoping for change hoping for good change um, BTT staking being removed is kind of a huge I, I probably should do a crypto stream talking about this. Maybe maybe I'll do a crypto stream tomorrow where we'll talk about this BTT staking thing. We'll do a home stream. Um, there is something that I might have on, but if it's not on, I'll, I'll, I'll do this stream. But I've, I've, just to, to tap onto it ever so briefly now, I feel like the removal of the BTT staking, it's almost like DLive are saying that's it, we tried that, there's nothing else left now. So like, the only reason BTT staking was a thing is because DLive was so close to dying. And I know this from speaking with the CEO, right? I know this for a fact, DLive was dying. And DLive would have been dead if it wasn't for Justin Sun and the BitTorrent merge at that point and then further acquisition. So adding the staking of BTT into the system brings in outside money from Wales, brings in investment into the platform, gives you assurance of longevity. That's what DLive needed, and it definitely needed it, right? And now that it's gone, what fills that void? Like, what's, what is there to, to take the, the, the place of BTT staking? Like, where, where does DLive make any, any money? Hey, <laughs> yeah, man. It's called Gives a Minute. Gives a Minute. That's it. I'm live right now. <laughs> You're the lifty, right? How long until you close? Sweet as. Yeah. So, um, so in that regard, my thoughts on them removing BTT staking is. It's only negative unless they've got huge plans to fill that void with something else, which I haven't heard. I haven't heard them say anything. I mean, don't hear anything anyway, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the future holds. Let's, the, fu the future for this stream, though, includes upping the ISO. Oh, that's 1600. That's the maximum ISO. Turn this light down a little bit. That's too bright. So the ISO now has reached its maximum level. And the shutter speed is at its lowest. And the lifty just did did say that they shut at seven, so. Many levels, there's levels to this shit. Your name is Gibbs. Well, that's my handle, yeah. Gibbs a minute. My name is Benon, though, if you want my full name. Well, my real name, Benon. Julius William Otto Kirsch, my full name. Um. It's sad DLive almost dead. I wish it grows more. We need more live stream alternatives to YouTube and Twitch. Yeah, and, and that's that's the void that DLive has always filled. And it's and it's done really well. Like it, it came up it came up at a point where and I and, and when I speak like this, it sounds like I was in on it at the start, but I wasn't. But I learnt about it. So with that in, in mind. What I was going to say is that DLive, the concept of decentralized blockchain live streaming, where you earn a cryptocurrency, okay, it was a testnet, it wasn't an actual crypto, but it was an in-app, whatever currency. The concept of that is so, it's still needed, right? We still need that in the space. 
and DLive came in and went, here it is. This is decentralized, it's blockchain. The, the, the content is yours to make. And if you can make content, you can be rewarded in our cryptocurrency. It's called Lino and your community can earn it as they watch your content. I'm like, that is so good, right? That is, what's a Lino? Who cares? Where can you trade it? I don't care. You're earning it by creating content. You're earning Lino by creating live streams and your audience is earning it by watching. This is an absolute revolution. And unfortunately, the longevity of DLive and the way that the, the platform has moved into different ideas, that's gone. That concept is gone. There's nothing decentralized about DLive.tv at all. We know who the owners are or we know there is an owner. We know they're based in Singapore. We know there's a CEO. There's, there's centralization up the wazoo, right? There's no blockchain inter integration. At the moment, the only blockchain, the, the only way that DLive touches a blockchain is that you can donate via BTT, TRX, and USDT, I believe. So there's three cryptocurrencies that you can use to donate to me. That's the only way DLive touches a blockchain. It doesn't have anything to do with the chain outside of that. And you could argue that you don't even need that to contribute because you can use the in-app currency of a lemon, which is not a, it's nothing to do with a blockchain, which is a shame because the idea of it being blockchain based was creating their own blockchain called Lino. And there was this great team vibe behind it where people were like, I'm a validator, like I run the node and I'm gonna, and you guys can like vote for me and we can earn voting rewards and consensus mechanisms and there can be staking rewards and all this cool shit, which was all for the betterment of the site. That's what it was at the start. And that was so good. Like you really, you felt like you, you felt like you were in the inner mechanisms of the site, like whatever you could contribute However way that was, whether it meant voting for a validator or donating to a validator or, or locking up your Lino or whatever the thing was that you were doing, you were doing something, even if it's just streaming, even just creating content, you were contributing to this thing that was building and building and building. And it was really good, like, and financially really beneficial. Like at that start, and I always refer to it as the golden era, it was great. Like it was such a good competitor to YouTube. Um, I really enjoyed my time and I was trying to get as many people to come and stream on DLive. Like I was trying to bring in everybody I knew and I got a bunch of people which is laughable now. I had, had Danny, I had Xander, I even had Mark Ensby. I had Jay Boston sign up for an account, right? I got, I got crew over here. The, these are the extremities of, of people who would come over from, from my circle, but I got them. I did the thing, right? And unfortunately DLive didn't do their thing they just progressively got worse and like community streams stopped partner discord calls stopped interaction with anybody stopped i mean it's to the point now i don't even get a response when i dm a, 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 a team um, when i d when i dm a team leader let's just call them they're not called that but when i dm a team leader who i've dm'd hundreds of times in the past i just don't get a response anymore like just they just don't respond. <laughs> um, if they're not responding and they're not caring, who the hell is? I don't know, dude. It's a real shame though. It's a real shame. But there is always hope. I've got, I've got a lot of hope, a lot of hopium. Uh, Mr. Lee Sensei, I heard at one point PewDiePie was on here at one point and he stopped. Yeah, so there was there was a um, just gonna change the ISO here slightly. There was a time there when PewDiePie, oh the ISO, oh 3200's the max, 3200's 3, the maximum ISO we can crank to. So we are now at the maximum ISO. I mean, I can go higher. Oh, hang on. That light is just dropping. I'm drop, trying to trying to I'm trying to balance exposure here. Um, 3200 is the maximum. I, I'm not gonna go 64. It's just too grainy. So once that gets dark, we'll just bail. Um, PewDiePie was contracted for a year, 12 months, to stream exclusively on DLive. So that was a financial uh, contract between him and DLive, which there's nothing wrong with this, and it did, you, you might argue it did good things or it did bad things for DLive. Either way, it was a thing. 
I personally don't have a problem with uh, any site paying a streamer to stream on their site. If I was approached by a platform and offered a contract, if as long as the contract was beneficial to both parties, I'd sign it. I'd go on stream for them. They, they should bring in talent. They should continue to, they should maintain their talent pool, not just bring in outside talent, but that's not something they do. You got me on here too. Hendrik, yeah, you're an interesting case too, man. Like, for those that don't know Hendrik in the chat, you came on here as a viewer, and I remember the, the period where you dabbled in streaming yourself. Funnily enough, you did IRL first, which I, I loved, man. That little walk around the, the island that you were going to to see your folks, that stuff is pretty sweet, man. And then you, you developed a, um, a taste for it, and then you realized that you could... Jeez, I just remembered I even got Gil over here. Jeez. Um, yeah, you realized you could do it, and you liked it. And so you, you, you became a streamer, dude. Like, yeah. I, I, I salute that, man. I salute that. I think that... I wish you had done it earlier, so you could have involved yourselves in the, the golden era. I wish everybody that I got would have... In, Actually, by the time everybody came, it was already over. I think Danny, Danny might have got the tail end of the golden era. He might have... Yeah, he was here, because I was hosting him. We, we ho Remember what I didn't know what hosting was, or how to, how to do it? Yeah, we hosted Danny a few times, and I feel, like, I feel like he just got just at the end of that. Yeah. Julia, I found the name of the whiskey, Broken Heart Spirits. Have you checked it out? I know... Oh! Okay, so I have seen that in the liquor store downtown. It's it's out of my price range, um, to be blunt. I feel, oh, you know what? I feel like I should just buy one anyway. I can't take it back to Australia with me. Um, all right, what about this? When we do, it'll be in the next two to three weeks. We'll do our final stream here in New Zealand. And fuck it, Julia, I'll go and get a bottle of Broken Heart whiskey. Broken Heart spirits. I'll go and get a bottle of it. It's, it's, it's definitely pricey, but you know what? It'll be like a little reward for the, end of, for the end of this experience. I'll do it, I'll do it. Yeah, and we'll probably sit down at that jetty. It'll be a bit warmer than it is, because it'll be right in the middle of spring. Yeah, I'll do that, I'll do that. Good, good idea, I mean, yeah. Thank you for reminding me. I won't go to the distillery, but I'll do a stream from here, we'll get some, and we'll just kind of like, we'll use that as like a celebratory drink at the end of the time here, for sure. Uh, I found the name, oh, uh, Sensei, I read your description down below. Your EV live stream idea is cool. I'm excited to see it. So there has, uh, so for the last six months, obviously, because I've been in New Zealand, I haven't done that. And you're new here, so I, you don't, you don't know this, but I, I have done a whole bunch of content, like live streaming from my van, Steve van, we call it. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to doing that when I get back to Australia, like going out live streaming from... I want to go back up to Fitzroy Falls Reservoir, that place is awesome. Do some streaming up there. I want to go and get some big spiders, some big huntsmen, and put them on, on camera. I want to be warm, you know. I'm, I'm, I love the snow and I love the alpine vibes, but I'm looking forward to summer in Australia. So what I'm saying is we've already done that and we will do that again when we get back to Australia, but I guess the long-term goal was always to have enough money from cryptocurrency to buy an electric van of which doesn't exist right now but in the future there will be a good electric van and drive around Australia live streaming the whole thing from the vehicle that's my plan so to that effect there is a GoFundMe uh, down below for a hundred thousand dollars even like a small donation will help just saying Gee, that looks nice with that uh, luge track light on there as well. This is nice up here.
So as soon as that luge chairlift turns off, I guess we should get out of here. A good electric van doesn't exist as of now. No, they do exist. Uh, Rivian have a contract with Amazon to supply Amazon with a fleet of electric vans and they've just sort of rolled that stuff out in the last, say, five, six months. Uh, so they're, they, are, they are in existence, but um, I was gonna say commercially. Commercially they, they exist, but like for individual, not really there yet. Like I think the technology is still playing out. Uh, Tesla are definitely working on an electric van concept. That's to be interesting. But I don't know how much stock you put onto Tesla, like how much faith you put into them. Um, the Cybertruck was announced in, what was it, 2018? I feel like it was before COVID, right? The Cybertruck. That announcement was like just before COVID, bef before the turn of the year to 2019. And it's 2022 now and still that doesn't exist. So. I don't know. Yeah, I, I want I want the technology, but it doesn't happen that quick. <coughs> Julia, it sounds good. Make sure you get those ducks in the live stream. <laughs> Jesus. Down here, right, right, right. I haven't been looking at DLive that much, but um, I know what I'll see if I go and have a look at the homepage. By the way, it's at this time of the evening when we should have done this before. We did this last time we were streaming and the sunset happened. We've got to turn it around this way because that there is the absolute bomb when it comes to light in the sky, right? So let's turn around a little. I'll come across to the other side of the table. Yeah, we did this last time where the sun, the sunset happened behind us and the light in the sky just looked so sick. So if we turn around this way and we get level, we're gonna see an absolute cracker to the west. Like that. Doesn't that look amazing? And I'll get, I'll get over, over here. Elsa, how you doing, man? Good to see you, man. What? Elsa. Was that a host, was it? I didn't even see it. Hosty host, Suki. Suki with the host. Hello, Suki. How you doing? Everyone's in town now. Hello, Suki. Good to see you. How you doing? You little beauty. Hey, you gives and givers. It's good to see you, Elsa. Uh, Ford and Mercedes are teaming up to make an av to make an available public commercial use EV van. Oh wow, interesting. I'm just gonna put this light over here a little bit. I did not know that that news, uh, Hendrik. Is that light not bright enough now? That's better. Uh, the trash man. Hello, the trash man. How you doing? Yo, 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 yo! The trash man has been muted? Who did that? I don't know what happened then. Who, who did the, I, I didn't do it. It wasn't me, my hands are up here. I didn't do a thing. How come the trash man got muted? Uh, cheers has been on and gives. Thank you, Suki, it's good to see you. You know, DLive might be having a strange time right now, but it is rad when you see the regular crew come in, you know? Regular crew are still here. The band can still play. There's no one in the there's no one in the in the auditorium. The sound engineer's gone home. The lighting guy doesn't work anymore. The curtains have been closed forever, but the band is still here. Hey? We can still jam out a few songs. The trash man lived up to his name. What did he do? What did I miss? What did I miss? Did we get did I get trolled? Come on, give me something. Like if I'm gonna get trolled, let it. It's like a, it's like almost a badge of honor these days. If someone's gonna spend time in your chat trolling you, on a, on like such a downward spiral, let let's let's have them for a while. What did they do? What did what did the trash man do? What did I miss? I wish I'd seen it. Damn it, trash man. Can you get a new handle and come back in and continue to trash me? Trolling on D-Live? Never. Hi Rez in the house. Hi Rez, how you doing man? Hello, what? 
what happened? Did the message go out that something was happening? By the way, if you're wondering what these lights are and you're just new to the stream, we are sitting on top of Google it, Skyline Gondola. It's in the stream title, Skyline Gondola. We're sitting up here. Um, it's probably not going to last too much longer because they're going to be closing at 7. What time is it now? It's just gone 4 past 7. So I guess as soon as I see that lift, the, the, the luge lift close, we're going to have to think about heading back down on the gondola. Um, but yeah, we're up here at the top of Skyline. The sun's, it's perfect timing because the sun's going to drip right away and it's going to be all over pretty soon anyway, so. Uh, I was at Suki's house and she hosted you, I think. That's how you came here? Well, I appreciate that, uh, Hi Rez. And Suki, thank you for the host. It's very kind of you. It's good to see you. It's good to know that you're still here. It's good to know that some crew are still here, right? Elsa is still here. My entire left bar says offline. Oh yeah, there's been issues with that, hasn't there? I mean, I'm gonna stay quiet in the Discord. I got a New Year's resolution in September of the year, and the resolution is just not to put anything in that Discord, period. I just not gonna do it anymore. Um, asking questions for the benefit of all seems to be enough reason to team up against. I got hammered. I got absolutely hammered. So I'm just not gonna contribute anymore. I'm gonna be a silent contributor. Yeah, not, not interested. I mean, I'm still interested in the answer to the question I asked, but I'm just gonna wait and pff, not be involved in discourse anymore on a Discord because it's just so sad, so sad. Um, been there, done that. Yeah, yeah, Elsa, yeah. Hi Reyes, I made that one clip that got 7k views of that kid throwing money at you. You made a clip of me and it's had 7,000 views? Buh? What? You made a clip of me when, when um, Paul threw that money at me at, at Curricula Quay at Circular Quay in, in Sydney? Is that what you're referring to? Because the only time I've ever had money thrown at me was that time. And I wasn't naked either, I wasn't dancing to an, an erotic beat. I was just streaming and someone threw money at me. I mean, yeah, okay. If that's a thing, I'll, <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> but you clipped it on my channel and it's got 7,000 views? Really? 7K? I, I missed that, dude. I didn't... I want to see... There's a... So if I go to my clips when I get home on the, on the desktop and choose most viewed, there'll be one that's got 7,000 views? Well, okay. I feel like I should have been in, in, a, in, a, in a thong at that point. Hey, if someone's going to throw money at me and it's going to get 7,000 views, I should give the audience what they want. Well, hang on a second. Does anybody in the audience actually want that? Probably not. I think it's on my channel. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll, I'll check it tonight. I'll, I'll go down and check it. The trash man, laugh my ass off. That was a joke that gives a minute probably got, but apparently a joke equals troll. I missed it, dude. I missed, I missed what the joke was. I didn't see it. Um, without getting Pablo, uh, get your finger off the mute button for, for, for a second here. Can the trash man retell the joke or is it too offensive? Cause I, I genuinely didn't see it. Like, and I feel like I'm missing something here. If the trash man had a good one and I missed it, or if it was a bad one, like how... Actually, I should just take the word of... I, I, I trust Pablo and I trust Hendrik more than I trust the trash man, so... There was nothing funny about your disgusting comment earlier. Okay, I, I trust you, Pablo. I trust you, man. Uh, I am high res. Oh, okay, there's a link to that. It involved your niece! Oh, did it really? Okay, then in that case, let's get this. You're out of here, dude. I'm gonna do it. Oh, 
I'm gonna, oh, someone, oh, someone already did it. I was gonna delete and mute that guy. If you're gonna make a joke about my niece, like, like I'm assuming it was a sexual thing, right? She's five years old at that time. Six and a half now. Yeah, get it, get rid of him, get him out, get him out. Yeah, get him out of there. Scumbag, yeah, fair, yep. I was going, I was looking for the, for the delete and mute, but, it, but by the time I got to it, you'd already done it, so thank you, Pablo. Yeah, none of that shit. It's a shame people have got to be like that, huh? People, huh? Hey, by the way, there must be a very flexible close time. Uh, the lifty that came up on the chair before definitely said seven. That's Kiwi for seven, by the way, seven. Uh, close the lift at seven. So, I mean, I'm stoked that we still got a bit of light in the sky, but I guess we'll, we'll be making our way off here soonish. Uh, where can I send you that link later, Gives? You'll have to save it. Yeah, um, hi Res, can you, I, I don't like doing this, but can you go over to YouTube? Oh wow, that wind just got super strong. Can you go over to my YouTube channel and pop it in the YouTube chat? Because I'll see that there, because the YouTube chat will stay forever. The YouTube VOD will stay forever as well. Can you feel that wind? It's just coming in like a, holy crikey. Lucky I got my back to it, but that wind is... Yeah, put that link in my YouTube chat. Uh, Okay, they, 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 that sounds like the last, they got the radio, that sounds like the last lifty up. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't you cold, man? Put a jacket on! <laughs> I've got like a, I got like a, uh, a hoodie, I got thermal, thermal layer, t-shirt, hoodie, jacket, gloves, and this guy just came past me on the chairlift in a t-shirt. <laughs> He's Canadian, uh, that guy. Oh, he might have been. I'm cold. I'm cold now. Um, what was I gonna say? I, I, I'm really looking forward to being back home in Australia for a couple of different reasons. One of them is what we talked about earlier and it involves DLive and like the changes on DLive and this and that. I feel like for the last six months or for the last five and a half months, whenever something's happened, I've just talked about it and it's just been my feelings and aside from you guys chatting in the chat we haven't really had a, a good discourse about it um, previously there used to be the community streams where everybody could sort of contribute their thoughts to whatever and whether it was you know in the chat and tidy would highlight it and then discuss it or delete it and move on whatever it was at least there was like there was the the, the opportunity for a discussion on something and in the last, yeah, in the last six months since I've been in New Zealand, and before that, extending before that as well, there's been no discussion about anything. So I'm really looking forward to being back home to have like the ability using my, cause I don't have my normal stream. Like all of my streams here have been IRL. I don't really have the ability to use OBS and bring a camera in and all that kind of stuff and bring guests on. But when I get back, I want to have panel discussions where it's like, okay, let's let's talk about what's happened on DLive. Let's talk about these changes uh, from a perspective of, are these good for the platform? Are these changes that are gonna benefit the platform? Or are these changes that are gonna like further disintegrate the platform? And it's not gonna be, like it's gonna be more about what you dudes, well, anybody who wants to come on a panel and put their face and a name to their thoughts, they're welcome to. Um, I feel like a lot of people won't do that though, like there's a lot of silent partners that are, you know, 
hiding behind handles, whereas come out, have your say, express what you think, maybe even contribute some ideas of what could be done to sort of help bring DLive back out. Now that we, we've lost staking, right? We've lost BTT staking. So what are we gonna replace that with? What's the, what's the financial model look like for DLive? How are these, how are we gonna incentivize new streamers to the platform? These are the questions that I'd like to ask in the Discord, but I just get slammed by everybody and anybody. Uh, as soon as you ask a legitimate question, the shutdown happens. So I, I'm looking forward to being back in Australia where I can have these, the opportunity for people to come on and then add their, sen add their two cents to the conversation instead of just a, a stupid gif. Hopefully that can happen. Hopefully when we, when we get back to Australia, we can, we can all sit down and talk about ideas. Because I think we need ideas. It's so cold up here right now. Jesus. Freezing. I no longer feel, I just stream. Right on, hi res. Right on. Just go for it. Yeah, don't... And there's something to be said about that, not getting involved. Hey, that chair lifts off. All right, let's, let's make our way back down to the base building. I'll go to the bathroom. We'll take the gondola down. We'll get off here. The chair lift off. They're going to start closing up up here. They've got to do their shutdown procedure. I know what that's like. Let's, um, let's get out of here. So this is empty. Is there, was there a bin up here? I'll take it with me. Yeah, we'll get out of here. close this up. Can't really see anything back here. It's so bright. The light. Oh, I'll take the chat out. Put my uh... I'll be drinking Jack straight, no beer if it's that cold. <laughs> yeah, maybe I will. Do you know what, Hendrik? I've not had much Jack since I've been here at all. I've been here. Oh, you know what I should do? I should get Cody's another time. Should we do that? I feel like we, there's two streams we've got to do before we leave. One of them is that beautiful whiskey that we're going to get, we're going to spend up big, and then we should do the opposite and get Cody's again. All right, well, this is going to go in my pocket. So we're good to roll here. I don't know how that's going to be for light. You know what we could do? Let me just fix this here. Got nothing left on the table. So we got this angle here. Just going to change this. Whoops. Okay, so we're good at that point. Uh, we got levels, Jerry. So I'm going to take the chat, turn this chat off, and I'm going to go back down to the base building, uh, go to the bathroom. I'll, oh, I'll put you back in the, um... oh man, I've got to turn this around. I can't see anything. I'm going to put you guys back in the, um... in that beautiful, um... that waiting area where that lovely light was. 
I'll go to the bathroom, then we'll jump on the gondola back down. And then when we're in town, we will stop the stream. We'll end the stream. Or maybe we'll continue it. I don't know. We'll work it out. We'll work it out. But yeah, we're going to go back down to the base building and make our way back down. see the action ahead of us we're just cruising down And here we are. Back inside. We've already been in here before. We know this area. That's the gift shop in there. We went in there before. Oh, what a lovely light fitting. What? That's lovely, isn't it? Oh, look at them all. There's three of them. I hope this light is still on here. Oh yes. This is where it all began. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my camera here because don't forget that they are closing everything here, but we won't be very long. Where's my, uh... Okay, this lovely lighting. If you didn't see the beginning of this stream, go back and look at the start of it, where we sat here. It's so, such perfect lighting here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. And then we're gonna take the gondola back down. What time is it? 20 past seven. So I'll be back in a second. You guys can enjoy this lovely lighting and the warmth, and I'll be back momentarily and we'll get out of here. Gondola ride back down, of course.
right, we should uh, get out of here. Let's make like a tree. Should we just check the chat before we do? And uh, we'll make like a tree and leave. Make like a tree and get out of here. It's make like a tree and leave, you idiot. Um, where are we on the chat here? Levels don't matter in the dark, Jerry. The bar staff have gone skits. What did I miss? What did I miss? Okay, let's go in. Let's get out of here. Did I miss the bar staff going schizo? Christmas tree? You got a Christmas tree there, Suki? What's the Christmas tree for? I mean, I, I, missed, I missed all that, but that's all good. Elfsa, we're about to take a gondola back down to Queenstown. This is the entrance. Please show your gondola ticket to the staff member prior to loading. Uh, I'm just used to the, the size of the gondola at Coronet Peak. This one's a lot smaller. So yeah, we're going back down and I guess this is the point where, well, we gotta thank uh, Skyline Gondola for giving me this access here. Is that better light? Oh shit, I just did the wrong thing. Hold on a second. Ah, did that one-handed, that was the wrong, turned it the wrong way. Hold on a second. You ju I just, oh no, my light is now all loose. Hold on, hold on, we'll be able to get it. And it's so bright now. I want you to see, look how bright that is, that's better. So you guys can see what you would see if you see the downward gondola operator. <laughs> He's waving. I don't know if you can see him in there. Um, I want you to see the uh, view here downward. Will you see the, the restaurant we were in before? We had the beer. The Stratosphere. Stratosphere. Oh, we had these windows down to make sure we got 4G, but we didn't need to. But what's really cool is the vision outside of Queenstown. So I'm going to have to change my ISO here for this because that down there is Queenstown, but you can't see it very well because of the way I've got my light set up. So I'm gonna just change it for the down. So if we go ISO 100, oh wow, uh, my bad, 100, my bad. Hold on a second. Crank it right up, 1600. That's Queenstown. Oh no, you're not really seeing anything, are you? Yeah, it's a shame you're not really seeing it. And I know this light's not making it any better because you're yeah. What if I sit on this side? What if I sit on this side and we get a little bit of foreground light and background light? Yeah. Nah. That's the beauty of me doing this stream uh, coming up. We saw it and I figured we could probably walk back down and you'd still get a good good vibe, but yeah. I mean, as it stands, you, you know what that looks like anyway. It's just, it's not picking it up very well. In that case, just enjoy the uh, atmosphere inside uh, gondola 26 from skyline on the way back down from the uh, top here uh, and we've had well we saw the whole thing right I showed you the whole thing if you didn't see everything go back and watch this stream in its entirety there's a lot more to this stream we began on the way up you saw all what you're not seeing now you saw at the beginning of this stream by the way just enjoy the peaceful and enjoy the sound of the gondola just shush It's got a nice, not nice sound, hasn't it? It's like chill. Here we are, getting closer to Queenstown, folks. We're lowering ourselves. What's that looking like? Still rubbish.
let's crank it up. Let's go. Let's go 3,200. 3,200, folks. You want to go even further? 64. 1,280. You want grain? I've got Queenstown grain in all of its glory, folks. Look at that glorious grain. That looks rubbish. There's more lights there because of the amount of grain that that's given off. But you wanted it. I did it. Let's turn this light off. Does that make any difference? Nah. That's Queenstown, folks. Queenstown at night at 1,002, at 1,200, 1,000, 128,000 ISO, folks, in all of its grainy glory. Is it even focused? I don't even know if it's focused. Because is it focusing on the uh, outside or the inside of that window? Yeah, I don't know. Either way, you get the, um, you get the vibe. I feel like this is a slower ride down than it was up. Maybe it's the anticipation. Either way, folks, there we are. I'm going to change the ISO back to like 100. And I'm going to put the light back on because we're about to enter the base building. And uh, I'll need that. ISO 100. Shutter speed 100. Oh, that's way too bright. Let me turn that down. Oh, too low. And um, this will conclude. Oh, well, we'll make a decision, right? We'll wait a second. What's going on with that? ISO needs to be higher than that, dude. Let's go ISO, ISO auto. Um, so should we make a decision here? Do we, are we going to wrap the stream up or should we continue the stream? It's up to you dudes and the battery, <laughs> mainly the battery, but I do have other batteries. So, um, well, let's return the, uh, the pass here. I've got to give this back to Skyline. Thank you. Thank you, Will. Oh, it's bent. Didn't fit in my, didn't fit in my pocket. Sorry, Will. I bent it, but it's, the pass isn't bent, just the lanyard's bent. But thank you, Will, for uh, access up here to see the sights and see the vibes. If you want to take a Skyline gondola, it's not very hard to find. Go into Queenstown and look up. Anywhere in Queenstown, if you look up, you'll see this gondola. I'm not kidding. If you're in Queenstown town and you look up, you'll see it. So just look up, see it, come to the base building, Get your day ticket, go up. You might want to do a luge. I didn't really mind that we don't really need to do a luge. We can see it, we know what it is. I've done it before. It's good fun, you might enjoy it. You get spectacular views from up here, as you've seen. This whole place is just one view after the next. Like, no matter where you look in whatever angle, you're seeing wonderful views. So, if you're interested in wonderful views and you're in Queenstown, Tell them you saw it on Gives a Minute and you came up to this gondola and you had a great day. Family day, right? Good times with the family. All the views, all the vibes. Good restaurant. And a gondola right back down. Got music blaring. Yeah. Cranking. Tunes is this. And there it is. Hey man. Normally you'd probably just walk out that way. There's nobody in here. I've got to give this back to the dude, eh? And there's nobody here. Ah, okay. Just get his attention from over here. He's back. <laughs> this 
this isn't going to work, is it? <laughs> Should I just leave it on the till? I could, I could just leave it over there, but then if I, then if someone takes it, then he's left this little lanyard here. He's parking up. I've got to give that back to you, man. You're good. Yeah, cool. Good. Thanks, man. All right, I gave it back anyway. At least it's out of my hands now. Yeah. All right, so that there concludes. Dude, there's still roadworks going on. They're working all night. So that there concludes the Skyline Gondola 2022 September stream. If you are interested in learning more, go ahead to Skyline. I'll put the link in the description. I can't remember what it exactly is. Um, okay, so are we gonna are we gonna wrap the stream? So here's the thing that's I'm thinking. It's my night off. I do have that other beer in my pack. We we were the idea was not to get drunk up top there. The idea was to enjoy a beer. We had one in the restaurant. We had one outside. Are we gonna continue the stream? We're gonna have a beer in town. We're gonna to park up somewhere in. Oh wait, it's no, it's gotta be before 8 p.m. Hold on a second. We got half an hour. We got 20 minutes to have a beer because you can have a beer in town up until 8 p.m. It's 7:37 right now. We could sit in the cemetery. That'd be lame. Let me just pull the chat up and see what you guys think. Do you want to continue? Is what I'm asking essentially. Or do you want to end this, Shiz? Uh, I'm bringing up the chat now. I'm refreshing my trousers. Uh, how much of a walk back home? Uh, 10 minutes, not even. Hashtag fart. Have a beer here. Um, so I'm not going to go into a premise, but I'm going to sit outside with a beer because it's not that cold down here. We're out of the wind. So we'll find a good spot to sit up. Not down there with commercial music. Though. This is where um, Shlok used to work, Kingpin. Oh, we're going to walk past Bespoke. We're going to walk past Bespoke Kitchen. I'll show you. Oh, we're going to walk on the... Do you know where we could go? We could go to the park where I sat where it was snowing that time. Um, we're kind of stuck here, aren't we? Which way do we go? I guess we go this way. Do you remember that day I sat where it was snowing? We could go to that park and sit up. It's not really a great view behind though. Um, and that's up this way. Actually, you won't really see much up there. No, we've got to go, we've got to go into the lights of Queenstown, right? No, we won't go up there. We'll go down here. By the way, that's Bespoke Kitchen. You can't get to it though. It's all, well, you can get to it from the other side, but they've closed everything off due to these roadworks, but Bespoke Kitchen is just in there. So let's go downtown and find a spot to park up for 20 minutes and drink a beer. Because you can drink beer until 8 p.m. on the streets of Queenstown. Used to be a mini ramp right there. It's not there anymore. I'll go beer in town then, Hendrik, yeah. All right, I see, I see you in the chat there, man. I'll close that chat for the moment, for the time being. We're gonna go down here. Oh, I know where we're gonna go. I know where we're gonna go. We've done this spot before.
But I've really got to take a splash. out of the bathroom before and then we won't have time to do mm. I think I gotta I don't I'm gonna have to take a take a slash and there is a bus shit that dude is not doing 40 might have an issue up ahead folks because I was gonna sit down for a beer still do it though but this need to go to the washroom is overwhelming interesting if we can do it we can do it I'm gonna have to do it anyway it's not it's not like I've got an option here Pull the cable on the stream, obviously. I'm not taking you into the bathroom. Well, I'll take you in, but you know the deal. There's a bathroom just down here. This looks dubious going into the bathroom with a live stream and a live stream that's running. Okay. Oh, shit. That's okay. We will uh, deal with this push to lock. I'm gonna pull the pin on the stream. So I'll see you, I'll be back. I'll see you.
Are we back? We back. Now that took longer than anticipated. Um, truth be told, pee became poo. Oh, and light just fell down, but that's all right. We don't really need it anyway. We're good. Yeah, that took longer than I anticipated. Um, some things are like that. How are we for time? Because um, I don't want to do the wrong thing. 10 minutes, we can drink a beer in 10 minutes. We can drink a beer in 10 minutes. Let's go and park up. You know where I'm going. You know the spot. That wind, it's... It's alright now. You know this spot. Sat here before. Do it again. Here since... You know that this is... In town, so hold on, let me just adjust. And then also adjust. Okay. I'm this beer, nine minutes to drink it. It's funny, isn't it? You Drinking, but I guess there's a bit of this is off, off tomorrow. Skyline, this is a good brew, too. So, how street behind me. Camp and shot over. I gotta put. I kind of. It is. Ah, it's gonna. So wobbly. Something here. The light has to be. Yeah, that's better. So um. Number of times I think we. Vended streams here. Ow. Halloween. Is it? Gassed? I mean,
disappear for a moment. Okay, sh that should have fixed it. Thank you for uh, Hendrik for putting that in the chat. I didn't. I obviously can't hear the audio, um, but you're saying it was sketching out. All I did was restart the uh, Terra deck, like turn it off and back on again, and we know that that's that's a lousy fix, but it's a fix. So I appreciate you letting me know. We should be good now, right? I'll just wait to see that we're good, but we should be good. We should be good. Are we good? That fixed it, thank you, Hendrik. I still can't bring it up on my, on my stream, but as long as you say that fixed it, then I trust you, man. Yeah, I'm not, not too sure what that is, but we, we understand that it does happen and we just pull the pin and we reset, so. Five by five? Five by five? Four by four? What is that? What day is it? Thursday night. So yeah, here we are, Queenstown. Um, and I guess I'm probably gonna, like, I don't wanna neck this beer, that would be crazy, but we've got five minutes until it's illegal to drink on the street. Five minutes. And I wonder, I just wonder how flexible the cops would be with that because, like, you could argue that enjoying it or necking it, necking it's gonna make you drunker, but enjoying it makes it illegal after the next five minutes. So, uh, either way. The alternative is that in the next, after the next five minutes, we just put it away and I walk home. But I'm gonna end the stream, so you guys will be ta ta. Fixed like a six month old puppy, Elsa. What? Five by five is a Buffy the Vampire Slayer reference for me. It means it's all good. Ah, oh, okay. 10-4 is what, when, in the, um, on the radio chatter, 10-4 is everything's clear, we'll copy. 10-9 is I didn't get it. <clears throat> but 5x5, five 5x5 five, five 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 or 5x5? Five five. So have you guys enjoyed this, this, um, this stream up at Skyline. I, th I think there are still two other streams I want to do before we leave here. Um, one of them I'm not really sure if it'll work, but I want to do a Lake Hayes stream. I guess I should check the 4G around the area, but I want to circumnavigate all of Lake Hayes on a stream. Um, and then I also want to get the water taxi that Tyler runs just to go just to take a water taxi. But he works Thursdays, so that has to be that'll have to be next next Thursday. Five by five, okay, five by five, gotcha. Elfsa, I gotta head out soon, early morning. 
Art stream for me. Oh, you're doing an early morning stream. Wow, get up early to stream. That's cool. Elsa. You're still you're still doing the D live, right? But you're restreaming as well. Yeah, I remember you were remember you were talking about not having um with restream change their planning their planages plans. Restream change their plans. I do have the, the professional plan. I I also have a 50% discount lifetime. If anybody wants a half price restream account, I have a coupon code. It's not just for one year, it's for your entire restream usage ever, forever. Uh, how many days till you head home? So I'm flying out on the 14th of October or the 16th? Either the 14th or 16th. It's less, than, well, what's the date today? Today's today, today's date is the 15th. I fly out on the 14th. It's one, it's less than a whole month for it. The 14th of October. I always get those dates mixed up, 14th, they keep changing them, that's why. Jetstar, Jetstar keep changing their flights. I restream to four locations, I just have the first tier and it's paid. So if you if you do want to upgrade to the to the next level, I have a 50% off discount for your lifetime. If you want it. 10100. 10100. 10100. Oh shit, it's gone 8 o'clock folks. That's it's actually just gone 801. So I can't drink anymore legally on the street. So I'm going to um well, I'm going to put this beer down, and I'm not going to drink it anymore. I'm going to take it with me, but I'm not... Oh, shit. I'm not drinking it anymore. I'm not going to break the law just to do a stream. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap the stream up here, and um, I'm going to go home and finish that beer. So if anybody has any final words they want to add to the, to the stream, let me know. Will you return next year to Queenstown? Probably not. Probably not. Um, so there's commitments that I've got to make back home, and that will involve, or that would, in, that would include me not coming back here. Um, would I ever come back? Yeah. I, and and if I came back here, it would be more of a permanent thing. Like I've done the tourist thing, or the long-time tourist thing now, for twice. And I feel like this place has a lot, it's got a lot for it, and you need to give yourself more time here. Not just winter, like summer and... This is, this is, this is my pledge to you. If I ever came back here, it would be semi-permanent in the sense that I would set up a proper house, and I would definitely, definitely have an electric mountain bike to be able to get out and explore all the mountain bike trails. Um, yeah, the idea of taking Arvi's push bike out to Moak Lake is fun and it's funny and it's silly, but it's not sustainable. It's difficult. You die every time you do it. And then, then you die for the next three days afterwards as well. So it's not sustainable, but a, an electric mountain bike would definitely make this place. This opens up all the trails around here and there's trails everywhere. Um, and to that note, like camping as well, like going out and camping, like in Steve Van kind of thing. Yeah. There's a five minute buffer on, on street drinking. Well, I don't want to push it. I don't want to push it. The bathroom breaks is that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, I mean, if a cop turned up now, Technically, he could still nab me because I've got an open vessel, right? I've got an open drink. I'm not drinking it, but it's open next to me. But I did stop drinking it at 8 o'clock. Seems a bit silly, but I've just... You know, I don't want to cause problems, right? I don't want to cause a, a ruckus. Even though... I'm going to go home and drink it. But, yeah. Anyway, folks, let's wrap this up here. And I'll say thank you all to, for you guys being here. I know this stream started off... Like if you watch this replay, you'll see a very strange thing, not just my stream, but nearly all the streams I checked on DLive had like close to zero viewers. I'm not too sure if 
that's a problem as well. If there's like view counts are broken on DLive. Um, but my ambition or my, not my ambition, what's the word? I wanted to, I didn't want to get into the gondola until there were people watching. Because going up in the gondola was like spectacular and it was daylight so you could see everything. Like coming back down, you know, the GH5 with the dynamic range, you're not seeing a great deal of the town. You saw the sunset, but then when we started descending, you didn't really see much. But if you want to see what it looks like going up, go back to the beginning of this stream and like skip in 20 minutes. Because I, I, I literally sat in the cemetery for about 25 minutes until people came in and then we went up on the, the gondola. So thanks again to Will uh, Appleman from Skyline for hooking this up. Appreciate it, man. And yeah, the idea was to showcase what it's like up there live. And if you come to Queenstown and you look up, you will see the gondola, get a ticket, go on up there, have a good time. You'll enjoy it. Pre uh, props to everyone that was here in the stream, uh, in the chat. Thanks for the host, Suki. Thanks for the donations. Uh, I see, I don't see the name of those. Take it easy, enjoy your night. Thank you, Hendrik. Yeah. Well, thank you very much guys. I'm gonna say adios. I don't know if this is gonna work though. This, uh, we, we do have issues with this. I have gotta tell you. Although it seems like it's looking good there. Scared the shit out of me.